Everybody, hello! Did it work? Oh. Can the stream see us? <laughs> it worked. Oh my! Oh goodness. my God! Oh God! No oh God, goodness! Oh Why have I been teleported? I am towering over Adam. I know. That's what I said. Adam's teeny tiny. Oh my God! Adam's and I'm just trapped guy. in Ashley's basement. <laughs> <laughs> I like how nope. we we have the three. <laughs> cartoon characters and then just IRL Hunter. Yeah, streaming live <laughs> from my basement. Yeah, yeah, with windows and all. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like that we're like phantoms. Up. Shit. <laughs> we're like phantoms. That actually's the only one who's like solid and we're just like, ooh. You're hiding in the shadows until I allow you to speak. 
Or we're hiding in the shadows so that we go we go transparent whenever we speak. <laughs> Genius. Genius. Blip out of existence for a second. Well, hello, oh, cool. everyone. You've also got art and stuff up there. That's awesome. Yeah. I love that. Hey, welcome to the new setup, everyone. <laughs> I hope you guys I like it. We're testing it out. It may need some adjustments and whatnot. I made it all myself. <laughs> yes. I made it all myself, too. Mm -hmm. Good job, boys. I'm so proud In of MS you. Paint. <laughs> The skull yes. is poking into Hunter's brain. <laughs> Dude, oh, it, Hunter's, it is, actually. Hunter sh Hunter's shirt reveal. <laughs> it's Hunter Corgi Butts. It's Corgi reveal. Butts and Flowers today. <laughs> nice. So now you people know that the, the, the person behind all of the Sesboy music, that's what he looks like. Yeah, he owns, <laughs> he owns Corgi Butt shirts. That's the kind of person he is. <laughs> he, he's Weird Al with a Gent guitar. Fucking facts. <laughs> 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 Anyway, so yeah, we're uh, we're writing some "Don't Fear the Reaper" today, right? Yes. Yeah, so I wanted to say that um, this is the big surprise: is that our next cover is my favorite song of all time, "Don't Fear the Reaper," and I'm very excited about this. <laughs> it beat um, out, it beat out. I'm not okay by my chemical romance and, and, and the you're Patreon not okay poll. <laughs> hey, I think it was a close second. It right? was a close second. Yeah. You know what? Maybe in some day. Someday. Eventually. Um I still want Psycho Killer. <laughs> <laughs> we could do that one someday too. Oh yeah, of course. It's just like gonna go back into the bowl. Yep. Yeah. And if you guys would like to help vote on future covers and see behind the scenes updates and all sorts of fun stuff, you can check the description down below this stream to check out our Patreon. We've got a whole bunch of cool stuff for people to check out for only a dollar a month. And then you can help me win the I'm Not Okay by MCR cover can, poll next you time. Can Thank rig, you. You can rig <laughs> the election. <laughs> help rig the election for just one dollar a month. Oh, man. So Perfect. what we're going to do today is we're going to actually work on... We're going to kind of show you guys how we put these things together. And uh, we're going to do it with this one. As a uh, because Hunter's got his whole setup here, which we record and we'll we, we give notes and go back and forth. Yep. Um, should we also before we start anything, uh, should we make that announcement of that thing, Ashley? Since we're working on this now, am I gonna learn about something at the same time everybody else no, does you, now? You, you already know. Oh, okay. Wait, announcement okay. of what thing? That that <laughs> other thing we made that's done. Oh, yes. Um, um, so our new song, Creature oh, Feature. The original. Is, is, yes, our, our new original song, Creature Feature, is completely finished. Uh, I don't know if you were talking about revealing the release date yet, Dave. Uh, I don't. Yes. N not yet. Not yet. We'll put together some visuals for that and then we'll do a stream Detoed. after. And okay. we'll reveal the release date then. But expect it soon ish. It is done. It is processing on all the big processing things. Oh, no, wait. No, we still have to do all that. And we still got to go through all the Spotify algorithm fucking applications and all those things. Funnery. <laughs> all that fun stuff. But yes, our new original single is completely 100% finished and ready to go. Release date announcement soon. All right, you guys got cucked. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to be the big meme strong mom. language, Dave. Yes. <laughs> Either we're not on Twitch, I'd get you banned. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh but, yeah, uh, we're on YouTube now. We can say simp and all the other horrible bad ooh, words. Oh my God. Dude, I love how Twitch or I love how Twitch like just erased that from the public lexicon as a result <laughs> of erasing it from the digital one. Yeah, maybe that was a good move. John yeah, not, says, the, not the worst. John says play free bird. <laughs> No. <laughs> Cucked. <laughs> Play teenagers. All right. So, uh, do we want to kind of go over what uh, what the vibe for this one is? Do y'all have any any like kind yeah. of preamble? So like one to... of the things I wanted to do with this one particularly was because this song is very important to me, and I wanted to make sure we do this cover right, but still keep like the feel of how we do this band. And yeah. so I wanted to make it sort of very haunting with a little bit of like an edge to it, but not as hard as some of the other ones, kind of the middle ground. Okay. Um, 
But, so we uh, want to turn up the gain on like uh, Blue Oyster Cult like just a little bit. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Like, like I think it's fair to say like, what's the hardest we've got? Is it is that probably Terror Time? No, no, no. Or, it's or it's it, it's I definitely a uh, creature feature. Okay, that's true. There is a there is a, a breakdown in creature feature. So yeah. <laughs> um, sorry, not to not to spoil anything, but oh no. Um, yeah, mm-hmm. right. <laughs> How fired am I? Um, He's no, but uh, so cool. I'm thinking that like we bring a little bit of that punk element in once like the uh, once the dynamic starts building, uh, especially once they start like playing outright chords as opposed to that opening riff. Um, just because that'll that'll give you a little bit of like a, a push up to the next thing, like from Dear Romeo and Julia, that whole part, right? Um, That'll that'll probably be a nice point to introduce some grit, but yeah, I'm thinking like haunting, spooky lead tone, or not lead tone, but like I guess clean tone for the uh, the majority of those verses. So what I've got here is a very very complicated thing, but basically we're getting a lot of like uh, an octave below and an octave above. So you hear one note, but it's actually three blended together. Is that, uh, is that a little quiet? A little on the quiet side? Yeah. A little quiet. Fix that. Real there are quick. a couple people saying they've never heard Don't Fear the Reaper. I promise you, you have. We'd play You're... the original for you, but we don't want to get copyright there, struck. There it is, right there. I put you can, the you can the say bag. two words that will remind everybody what song is Don't yeah. Fear the Reaper. Yeah. <laughs> You'll recognize it when you hear us work on it. Yeah, let me uh just make sure that that's coming through appropriately. Oh, you know what? I'm super smart. There is. You will hear the Miss uh, Papa Swirl jingle in the show. That's very true. I think we posted that. it on Twitter before too, or at least like the fucked up version of it. Yeah. There we go. That sounds good. Like nice and twinkly while also being a little spooky. The cool thing is is we can make it spookier by adding things like reverb and more yeah. delay. Yeah, yeah. Oh so. Dale, don't tempt me. Sesame cover of Devin Townsend's Deadhead. Devin Townsend is my favorite musician. That so. would be nuts. That would be nuts. Right. Let's get a couple of runs going. Oh, you know what would help? Probably metronome. Sorry if this is annoying at first. That's fine. How long have you guys been working on this now? Uh, yeah, around 2019, but it started off just as like a little, uh, uh, the little, uh, uh, hell puppy thing short. That'll work. We didn't really start really going at it until like late 2021, early 2022. Uh, yes. you can, do you, do you still want people to ask questions through coffee? Are you going to look at that? Yeah, I'm going to look at coffee. Yeah, you can, you can do coffee questions and we will, um, uh, we'll look at them. Yeah, this song, for those of you who don't know, this song is absolutely fire. It is my favorite song of all time. The, the guitar solo section is iconic. Most people know it from the cowbell sketch on SML, which I think sucks but it's okay as long as it gets the song for what it's worth i'm right there with you yeah <laughs> um oh, truly annoying no cowbell but, but we really no we, this is this is a song that really fits though i think the the band we're doing with with this whole like spooky alter alternate emo rock sort of feel by the way hunter if you play something we can't hear it oh really yeah Wait, can't hear what? Can't hear Hunter playing. I can hear him. Stream, can you hear him? Oh, I have. I'm a. I'm a, I'm a moron. <laughs> I'm watching the the YouTube thing, but of course I have it muted because we're watching the stream. Forget it. I didn't say anything. I'm an idiot. Golf clap for Dave. Golf clap for Dave. Golf clap for Dave. Good job. Good job, Dave. There we go. Mm, yes, and cool. <laughs> uh, They're asking, are you using Ableton, Logic Pro, or another music app? I love Reaper. 
Yes, the Reapers, I do. but yeah. most everyone fear the on Reaper. our team. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> most everyone on our team uses. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Reapers. <me>. Uh, <laughs> well, Adam's special, you know. Um, no, Reaper is a uh, free, uh, quote unquote, free. In, a, in other words, like, you know how WinRAR is free? Free <laughs> every now and then, she's like, Yeah, no money. It looks yeah. like, you said. like <laughs> yeah, no, it, 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 it functions free, but it, yeah, it'll, it, it'll nag you. It'll yeah. nag you, though. That being said, they don't like hamper any functions while you're still learning to use it, or even while you're still using it under a free license. And that being said, like, DAWs nowadays are either obscenely expensive or they're a stupid monthly like subscription service. Because there's nothing I love more than not owning my tools. But, like, Reaper is $60 a license, whereas most others are, like, 100 to... Anywhere from 100 to, like, shoot. I think I bought Pro Tools back in, like, 2014 for 600 bucks, And that was with a student discount. It's just so unfair <laughs> to, like, keep tools behind things like that. But, like... I don't know. Um, yeah, can't sing Reaper's praises enough because it's fully functional. And I mean, the fact that like you're able to hear this through another piece of software is actually something that a lot of other DAWs struggle with. And this one doesn't simply because they've built in functionality for people like that. So, Aww. yeah. That's that's my Reaper spiel. I, I don't have a sponsorship <laughs> or anything, I swear. Not sponsored, <laughs> not an ad. Yeah, sparkle, no, I just... Sparkle. Just just simps. Yeah. Sparkle, I simp sparkle, for Reaper. Sparkle says your guitar is broken. No, no. They're talking well, about the... They're talking <laughs> about the, 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 the neck. I it's didn't gone. notice that the head of it was just missing. No. Yeah, why do you need it? <laughs> Who needs <Yeah>. it? <laughs> That's a it's a fun little guitar. Uh, this guy's I've had it for like probably like four or five years now. I will never go back to a guitar with a head because a big problem with a lot of guitars is that the neck ends up being heavier than the body. So you're just constantly getting tilted. And I refuse to be tilted. <laughs> I refuse to get tilted. <laughs> exactly. At tilted towers. Oh no, I knew it. I knew it was coming back to Fortnite. All right. <laughs> Yes, no head. Sorry, everybody. No head. No. Wait, who has no head? Do I have no head? <laughs> <laughs> Where's my pick? There it is. All right. One thing we're doing with this that Hunter suggested that I love is we're doing uh, it actually a step down, so it's a little bit creepier. Dang it. From Sorry, the from the original uh, the original uh, um, key of the song, we're going down. Is it a whole step or a half step? It's a whole step. Yeah. Whole step. So okay. instead of E standard, we'll be in D standard for guitars. It's um, gonna be and... interesting hearing Jacob sing that deep. I'm excited yeah. for that mainly just because like it's rare that he actually gets to stay relaxed while he sings simply because a lot of his <laughs> we're, we're giving him a break after creature feature. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's up there. <laughs> um, <laughs> but sorry. yeah, no, he's he's used to singing in that style, so I feel like it'll be really good to get him out of his comfort zone and also give him something that he doesn't have to like kill himself for, you know. Not that it's hard for him, it's just hard on any vocalist when you're talking about pushing out that much air. All right, so here's something fun we're going to do. Uh, studio magic time. So typically when you hear a guitar, in, like for instance, in like anything from a Metallica record to like even country records will do it, is um, you're often hearing two. And the thing is, is that... Uh, they're playing the exact same thing, but because it's two unique uh, performances of that thing, there are slight discrepancies between how the two were played. Whether that's timing or like how hard the strings were hit with a pick, that kind of thing. Um, and what that like proceeds to create is a more three-dimensional sound through the use of something called phase. In all phases, is just when a sound hits your ear at two different times. But in this case, we're tricking your ears into thinking it's the same sound hitting your ears two different times. Anyway, so to give you like kind of an example of how this ends up shaking out, here would be just the single one by itself. All right, 
it up a little more. It's, kind of, it's, it's, it's all right, but it's kind of, kind of one-dimensional, you know? So what we're going to do is, just for the sake of, like, like exaggeration, we're going to throw that one all the way over to the left side and the other one all the way over to the right side. And we're going to get this big 3D effect, essentially. Yeah. So. It sounds so much fuller and bigger. I know, right? It's it's like steroids for music. Also, somebody yeah. said it can't be a coincidence that Fortnite just released the original song in Fortnite Festival. <laughs> what? <laughs> it all comes hey, did back you know about around this? again. Somebody hey, get the did you know about this? <laughs> it's all coming together. It's all coming together. <laughs> All right, so David just for the sake of brevity, I'm going to capture a couple of go-throughs on this with both of those double tracks just being, like, nice and clean, and we're going to use those as a nice little loop because don't fear the Reapers like that a little bit. All right, that'll probably actually be solid right there. So obviously, if these like start to become apparent that they're repetitions, I can come back and straight up, whoop, uh, like record full, uh, what you call it, performances of like each verse part, each chorus part, all of that stuff. But for the sake of getting it all down on paper, getting our first draft clean, you know, yeah, let's not worry about it. <laughs> Those pitch down vocals are scary. I like them. All right, so this is the spot where we start uh, moving into those chords. Real quick, Pop Punk wanted to ask IDK if you guys are taking questions, but do you ever quad track guitars, Hunter? <laughs> So, I have absolutely quad tracked guitars before. Um, usually, though, if I'm. What? What, Dave? Hello? I think Dave's. <laughs> I think that was the sound of Dave's spirit leaving his body. Yeah. Is he, is he okay? <laughs> Hello? There Hello? he is. So, is my, com my computer crashed. Oh, oh no. no. I'm sorry about that. That's that why was his spirit leaving his body. Yeah. That was the bit flip. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah. So I, uh, I will quad track guitars if I'm either going for something that's just heavy as nails um, or if I want certain characteristics out of two separate guitar tones and I want to double track both of them for just like the maximum 3D effect. Um, I've often found, though, like if you're going to quad track the same tone, you're going to hit like big diminishing returns after you double track. Cause like, even if we were to say like, all right, put double tracks and put hard left and right, and then put a third one in the middle, it'll just kind of serve to fill up that middle rather than expand the guitar tracks, like stereo field, if that makes sense. So, sorry, that's a, that's a bit technical, but basically, yeah, I, I, in my personal opinion, if you're quad tracking the same tone, you tend to hit diminishing returns after you get two down, you know? So four isn't necessarily worth it if you're, yeah, using the same guitar sound. Interesting. Yeah. Well, it's kind of like a, a pencil on paper. So, like, you mark a line right and then you mark that line again to make it bold and like completely blacked out right a third line isn't necessarily going to like make it darker you know you can only get to so so much graphite in the paper all right so things here um Thank you. I'm glad you like the new, uh, the, the new, uh, 
awesome skeleton. Yeah, Ashley did a great job with that. Oh, yeah, totally forgot to mention. Yeah, Dave has a new persona now that I designed for him. He's got a little possum boy. Here, I'll, I'll move Dave around <laughs> so people can see his full body. Even though I'm not Dave's a gonna fly. Wee! Dave. You're like me. You're just an honorary furry. <laughs> it's gonna say me thinks the lady doth protest too much. <laughs> Listen, I love my persona, but I'm not a furry. Dave, you should you should scream as you're being dragged around. Yeah, okay, here, Dave, scream. Have you? <laughs> Chris just cut it out. <laughs> well, we know Chris was working. All right, Dave, you go back to your corner now. There we go. You get to snuggle. I love how with Adam Crisp even. I love how Crisp even cuts out when you say its name because it sounds like noise that your mouth know, would right? make. <laughs> um, right. But yes, um, someone asked why this song. The reason... So I'll, I'll say this. Uh, whenever Ashley Hunter and I... Because we, we're, we're trying to go back and forth with like... Because the covers are nice content to put mm. out while we work on, you know, the actual show and the big original songs and the comics and stuff. Um, we we have all of our own ideas of stuff we'd love to cover. And we recently were like, well, let's let Patreon decide between, like, one each each time. And I won. Yeah, the way it usually works is me, Dave, and Hunter, and possibly Adam, Jacob, Brett, whoever wants to join in. Um, each pick a song that we would really like to cover, and then it goes up as a poll on our Patreon. So if you join the Patreon, you'll get to vote on what you want to see as one of the yeah. next covers. For this time, it was between Don't Fear the Reaper by Blue Oyster Cult, I'm Not Okay by MCR, and Psycho Killer by Talking Heads, which are three great songs. Um, but Dave is cool in that video. Don't expose. Uh, I don't like that. <laughs> Somebody says, I want that MCR cover. Me too. We'll get it someday. Here's the yeah. thing. Just, just because those two didn't win doesn't mean we won't do them. Oh, yeah. As long as no, it's not go. teenagers, we, we'll do them someday. <laughs> you can do any MCR song besides teenagers. That is my rule. <laughs> So now it's become a rule, huh? I actually genuinely, like, really, really would love to do a cover of, um, uh, oh god, what's the, the, the last song on the Black Parade? The I am not afraid to keep on oh, living. Oh, uh, fuck, I forget what that one's called, but yeah, I know what you're talking about. That's the one I would actually love to do a cover of. Is that the uh, one we're like, well, Famous Last Words. Me? Yeah. Oh, no, wait, no, that's Black Parade, fuck. That's Black, that's say. the Black Parade. <laughs> I know, I get it mixed up. <laughs> Caroline McKee says, in place of cowbell, can you have the bell from an ice cream truck? And no, these are not um these are not Jacob's vocals right now. These are the original isolated vocals from Blue Oyster Cult that Hunter's just using. Because he be makes the funny. he makes the instrumental first and then Jacob records his vocals over a, a nice clean demo uh, yep. once we have it like fixed. So if that was Jacob saying that right now, I'd be like, holy crap, did he take some... That range. Some kind of horse pills or something. Like... <laughs> that would be scary, given how high he goes. If he could go that low, I'd, like, like that that low? Oh, that's Gregorian chant territory. Yeah. It also sounds kind of weird because it's been warped, whereas if somebody actually, like, sings that low, it sounds a lot less, like, oh, you know, like... I don't know. A lot less like Tibetan throat singing, that's for sure. Pop uh, Punk says, Hunter, I dare you to put in a force unnecessary breakdown. If I'm going to put in a force unnecessary anything, it's going to be the lick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Hunter's <laughs> join noise when he joins a call is the fucking lick. And it's so fun when, like, you run into somebody who actually knows the, the joke. It's so much fun. It's like being part of a secret little club. <laughs> Don't know why, but I feel like listening to Heart Shaped Box. Actually, this kind of has the tone of Heart Shaped Box, like, like the actual, like, notes the, with, the, with the key you're doing this in. Yeah. I'm yeah. going to check something real quick. I want to make sure I've got the right chords I'm running with. Um, Flighty Feathers asks, can we tag you if we make fan art like on YouTube? How would you tag on YouTube? Yeah, I don't know how you'd do that. You can tag us on any socials for sure. I don't know how you would do it on YouTube. Is Farfetch going to have lore? Yes, lots of lore. It already has a fuck ton. Yeah. By the way, for those of you who don't know, Hunter isn't just a guitar wizard. He's so good he actually teaches it as his job. Yeah, We're can you tell him he's a guitar teacher by the way he talks about guitar yeah. and music? <laughs> I don't ever talk about it. I gush. People accidentally <laughs> let that fucking like bag out or cat out of the bag and then it's just you can't shut up. Hunter, Hunter is teaching the next generation of musicians and we're like purple dog show. <laughs> <laughs> Also, Hunter, Dude, whenever you feel like, valid. whenever you feel like we've reached another like pause or you need to do something real quick, I can read a uh, coffee donation. Yeah, totally. Please, if you'd like to do that and just kind of like push my volume down and let me go off by myself, like y'all can kind of come back okay, to me cool. if you'd like. Yeah. Uh, I in that case, I will read the coffee donations that we just got in. Uh. Do -do -do. Good. Good. Shade Rave, could Hunter play Rush E on his guitar? <laughs> When's that Rush E cover <laughs> happening? Oh my god, kill me. No, When's that please. Through the Fire and Flames cover? <laughs> oh god. I, I'm sure I'm sure I'm sure Hunter would prefer Rush E. <laughs> All right, I don't so, know, because at least Fire in the Flames is sorry, Ashley, go ahead. <laughs> at least Fire in the Flames is technically playable. Yeah. yeah. Rush E is not. <laughs> Herman Lee is just a machine, and that's the thing. Uh, let's see. So first up, we've got Fizzy Dizzy who asks, "Hi, Farfetchers. Uh, thanks for showing us the music process. As of tomorrow, I've been a member of the Patreon for one month. Hey, thank you so much. Thank uh, you. I'm still Ooh. having a little trouble navigating it. I won't lie. Yeah, Patreon's layout is a little confusing. I'm sorry." They uh, changed but, it recently, too. Yeah, they did. I'm upset about that. I'm technically a Patreon ambassador, and so I got, like, a survey on what I thought of, like, all the changes and everything, and I was like, eh. One star, everything. Mm, there's some stuff I like that, about the changes, but other stuff, not so much. But yeah, thank you so much for your support. Uh, and then next up, we've got Trackside Maniac, who says, Really dumb question I want to ask. Is it wrong of me that I want Ashley to do an audio recording of her reading the Railway Series books? I don't know what that is, but honestly, I can say this about my voice. I think I could probably be a decent, like, uh, audiobook reader person thingamajig. Yeah. I think you'd be good at that. A narrator? Yeah. I... Is that a narrator if you're just reading out an audiobook? Because that's technically everything. Uh, in a way. I'd, I'd say, I'd say yeah. so, yeah. Yeah. Narrator, I guess. And then Zeno the, reader. The, cat, Zeno the Catboy with a $20 donation. Oh my god, thank you. Thank you. Man. Wow, uh, thank you. Saying, hi, this is my first time donating, but I want to say that I'm very excited for Farfetch'd, and it's cool to see what you, Dave, and everyone else is cooking up. I have you, Dave, Michael, and Anime to thank for inspiring me and giving me the boost to learn art and voice acting. Well, that's awesome. Thank you so much for your donation, and best of luck with everything that you're learning how to do. We're happy to provide any sort of inspiration we can. We love seeing other people dive into the creative field. Yeah. Da Daniel asked about, about the railway books. He said, is that anything like the boxcar children? I don't know what that is either. I do. I know. The really? I, I, grew I up do with too, the Dave. Children. Hell yeah. Anyway. I grew up. I grew up really with boxcar anymore. children. I read lots. It's really funny. When I was a kid, I read so many books. I used to love reading books, and now I haven't. I haven't like read like 
a good book in a while. Like, I've I given you a book or two to read, and you haven't That's read those either. That's an instructional either. manual. <laughs> I will say, I did um, pledge today. Our friend um, uh, Jamie Lee, the uh, who uh, did, the art, who does the camp counselor Jason art and stuff. Oh, Jamie Lee, yeah, yeah. She is starting her original graphic novel series slasher you and i donated to the kickstarter it looks nice. awesome oh man i gotta donate to that it, it hit the goal in one in one day I'm oh really my god it's awesome oh shade rave i also grew up with a series of unfortunate events limited yes oh, I read the that fuck was out the of those big one I, I loved how each one got progressively thicker and thicker yeah I, I had to stop reading it at one point because I had a dream that Count Olaf cut my head off with an axe. Oh. And and when I was a kid, and I was like, I gotta stop reading these books for a little bit. And then I got was it bit. was it book Olaf or no, Jim, Jim Carrey? Carrey. <laughs> <laughs> that does awesome. matter. <laughs> book Olaf's scary, but Jim Carrey's. Jim Carrey's Olaf is uh, a trip. Interesting. Oh, you remember the one joke? Like, it was like, we've made dinner, Putanesca. And he goes, What did you call me? <laughs> Mackle, I have said before, my, I don't know if this is a hot take or not, but Holes is the best example of a book to movie adaptation I've ever seen. I completely, I completely agree. Yeah. I love both that book and that movie. That's too damn bad! I was... I'm I, tired, I, I, Grandpa! That's too damn bad! I, uh, speaking of Devin Townsend, I went a couple of years ago to get uh, the Devin Townsend Project tattoo, um, uh, um, uh, logo tattooed on my hand. And when I went to that tattoo shop with my friend Jacob, right they had holes playing on the tv and right when the artist she started like drilling into my arm it was right when it was like you must carry madame zaroni up the mountain and it was like that whole like like montage scene of just going up the hill and i'm like i feel like i'm on my own trial right now <laughs> yeah and I'm just you're on her drill into, this is my like, madame zaroni <laughs> <laughs> I miss Eartha Kitt. She, she's incredible. I miss her so between, much. Between that movie, Yzma, and fucking the crazy lady from Ernest Scared Stupid. Three iconic performances. Alright, let's get a little bass laid down. Yeah. Come on, let's bring her more in. Sorry, I should have muted that first one second. Nobody likes the clicky clackies or the scritchy scratchies. I never saw the um, the Netflix series of unfortunate events with Neil Patrick Harris. They said the people are saying it's good it was good though. Oh, it was pretty solid. I thought uh, so, I, I watched it. I really liked it. I thought it was very, very good. Very, what? very true to the spirit of the original. What happened? Neil Patrick Harris used to be in everything. What happened? Like, I don't know. He, I, I know you said he was in the new uh, Doctor Who as the toy maker, but uh, he used to be in so much stuff. He, he might have stepped back or he might have had what happened to uh, Brendan Fraser happen to him. Where Hollywood just sure. decided, I'm done with you. I mean, yeah. there was a little bit of an outrage a couple of years ago when some pictures resurfaced. Oh, right. That. Do you know about that, David that. Hunter? No. No. Let's not, so... let's not talk about that. <laughs> Just as Adam goes. <laughs> I tell so... people what to Google if they're curious. Yeah, look it up. It's okay. fucked. Am I going to get depressed? You're just gonna get like just, baffled, I think. Yeah, like, what? Just, the, what are you? What were you? Th he didn't. Did okay. He didn't. I don't think he, he didn't commit any crimes or anything. It's no, just, it just like just mocked a dead, very recently dead celebrity. Oh, okay. And All it's right. just like, what the fuck, really? Mm -hmm. I see. Okay. 
you. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know if that's what did it, but that was a recent thing. Anyway. Fair enough. Hunter, get us out of this. Hurry. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh yeah, I need to tune this down too. LOL. <laughs> um... Also, when you were bringing in the bass guitar, my brain was just going, ah, it's Warren. <laughs> I could start naming these guitars after their characters. <laughs> Earlier was Piper, Dude, and now it's Warren. I found out that Fender made a uh, Asuka from Evangelion uh, Telecaster, like a oh, custom. Oh, that's so fun. It is so nice. It is so cool looking. Like, look it up if you get a chance. But uh, yeah, the Asuka Telecaster is definitely on my list of guitars. I really want to be able to own someday. Because, like, dude, oh, I can't even begin to explain how cool that thing is. Like, even just as, like, a character reference and all that aside, and, like, anime fandom aside, uh, like, a guitar like that... Yeah, it just doesn't exist. Now they just need to make a trigun guitar and you'll die. <laughs> Hunter got Hunter got this bass uh recently. This one, right? Yeah, yeah, I did. I uh This guy was realized... used in creature feature, yeah? Oh definitely. I think that's yeah, the first no. one it's been used in. For sure. Yeah, I nice. haven't been able to uh I I kinda realized like after uh, we did um adventricular that i really needed to have an instrument on bass that went lower just because like when you play a bass and a guitar in the same octave in other words they're in the same note just on the two different instruments you do get a little bit of like a textural bump from it right yeah. but ultimately it doesn't have that like fat foundation you're looking for when you're playing under the lowest string of a six string guitar like, you have to start tuning the bass down, and with strings that thick, you can only go down so far before you just start getting, you know, it's, the strings start flubbing, you know, so to speak. Um, and so, yeah, I just was like, well, I, I need another string. <laughs> <clears throat> I also like watching, because uh, you had the tuner on, Hunter, it was, it was just the changing of notes while you were speaking. I tell my students it's the, like, the guitar tuning mini game that we, all guitarists get to play. <laughs> All right, city escape. Let's go. Listen to that, baby. Purr. That uh, brings me to my next question, and that's for Ashley and Dave and Adam, if you want to weigh in on this. Mm -hmm. uh, do we go with a smooth, like, clanky bass tone like this, or do we want something a little dirty? Mm. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I, don't, I thought you I, might. <laughs> I don't know if the dirty will fit that haunting sound, though. That might push it more yeah. grungy. I think smoother might be the Is better way to go. Is there maybe a way to, to add I, just like a tiny bit of it? Not like a I lot. Can I can dial back. So so if you if you look at my stream, I've got uh, these two faders right here: gain one yeah. and gain two. Gain two controls how much of the sub frequencies of the bass that we hear. So like that big fat booty we like um and then gain two represents uh a separate chain where the guitar act or the bass actually goes through a guitar amp that would like have a metal tone on it and so it provides just a little bit of grit and you can yeah. basically turn it up and down and so if Let's hear it with the yeah yeah I, no not interested I, yeah I don't think it fits the haunting cool. vibe cool. that Appreciate we want to go you. for that's okay you're not disappointing me I man. love I'm... how it sounds so I fucking hate <laughs> saying no you know what hey for what it's worth I'm pretty sure that's the tone from creature feature cool. so like Good. it's it's out there okay. don't worry the, the the clank will return you know so yeah cool big R and B bass it is. Um, I don't know why, but those first couple notes you're playing, I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm so happy because today is, I'm so happy 
Because today I found my friends. They're in my head. Yay! There we go. <laughs> I just keep waiting Love for it. Hunter to play the Pornhub riff. It's not happening. <laughs> no. This is a good, wholesome show. It will stay a good, <laughs> wholesome show, Ashley. It's not a good, wholesome show. It no matter how many fuck it. me teeth you put in it. <laughs> I will put all the fuck me teeth I want in it. Thank you. Oh, here's a good one for all of us. Opinion on Helldivers 2. We have all been playing Helldivers 2 oh, together a lot. <laughs> Brother. I might or might not be max level. I'm, I'm ashamed. <laughs> might or may not be hopelessly addicted to Helldivers. <laughs> you can't prove it. <laughs> it was not... funny, like, Hunter was like, Hunter was the most vocal critic about the servers, but I know for a fact he just let that shit run all day so he could get in every day <laughs> as soon as possible. That's why he was so mad about it. <laughs> I love, I love, my favorite thing is just all the little things they do to, f like, mess with their uh, player base about how they're definitely not Starship Troopers and they're definitely not Halo. Um, <laughs> yeah. Like, like the, there's the whole, like, rank system, right? And you get, you know, Cadet, Space Cadet, and then you get Sergeant, Master Sergeant. Well, then you get Chief. <laughs> And logically, after that, you know, you know, we should come after that, right? Right, right. Space Chief Prime. <laughs> Those Master motherfuckers. Chief. Definitely not Master Chief. Monsters. Uh, but then there's like other stuff where, like, I, I ran across one of the, uh, you know, how they give you tips as you're dropping to the planet and stuff like that. Uh, I saw mm -hmm. one that was uh, one that said, "Don't panic." And then another one that said, don't forget to bring a towel. And I was like, all right, this is this is just all nerd shit. I love it. That was <laughs> that was what sold me. Now, don't forget to bring a towel is a uh, star or not Starship Troopers. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Yeah, I was thinking that. I was also thinking South Park Towel. -y. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, when the workday is over, the lot of us are all playing fucking Helldivers. Usually around like 10 p.m. We'll play yeah. some. After, yeah. yeah. Alright, base. Base. Hunter does have a sona um, when he's not a real person. It's he's a little a little, uh, little bird, a little kingfisher. Drawn by Dubis Goobas. Ooh, that's nice. I like that so far. Is okay. bass is bass some music? Yes, John, but mayonnaise is not. Is bass a music? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 of course, it exists out there, but there is a bass bass. Oh my but god. John is another wonderful music boy who has helped us out quite a bit. He also, he, he is the, I did the uh, Monster Mash cover with. He did yeah. all the instrumentals and uh, some of the singing stuff. Hunter, for a second, I thought you were about to start playing Killing in the Name of. Don't tempt me. <laughs> and it is just another bomb track! <laughs> 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 Did you with the punk tactics? <laughs> Love Luther Vandress, though. All right, let's get base laid down. Oh, it was not pulling in on the right input. I love when that happens. Oh, no. It's all good. The whole, like, point, though, is to just be able to poof it out whenever you need it, you know? So 
it's just another opportunity to practice. <laughs> uh, who is doing right. the drums for this cover song? That would be Brett, our primary mixer. He no. is the, the drum god. For those he's of Quinn. You, yeah, yeah, he he's is. Quinn. A hundred percent. So the I guess in real life how it works is Jacob is Griff, uh, Piper Warren, Piper and Warren are Hunter, Adam Ooh, is Adam. Rue, Adam is Rue because he does the keys and synth stuff, and then uh, Quinn is Brett. Brett somehow records those insane drum tracks when he when he those insane dum- drum tracks that people have a hard time covering because they yeah. can't match it. <laughs> I'm sure I've written an impossible to do keyboard riff a couple times. I'm not blameless. Would there be a cover of Tim Burton's Corpse Rides Remains of the Day? That's a fun idea. That would be fun. <laughs> Just Danny Elfman singing as a skeleton man. <laughs> I love little girl. I knew that was coming. <laughs> I just, I just... Terrible. I can't believe y'all. How we could y'all do this? I've, I've ruined Dave's life. Yeah. Any, anytime <laughs> Oingo Boingo is one of my favorite bands. Anytime I bring it up, Adam immediately just like. I love little girls from the freaking. <laughs> I'm trying to fit into every song of his. <laughs> Give me a second. I'm just referencing some real quick. Uh, will there, will there be Dave metal covers of the far fetched OST in the future? I don't know how I'd do that. If, if like, I, it, it's just, uh, our team making the Dave can the, be part of Cheese Grater, or cheese themed metal band. Dude, I'm. Uh, I can't wait to let like the absolute freak that I keep on a leash for Sesamoid loose on Cheese Grater. Someone, someone <laughs> earlier who brought up Devin Townsend, uh, Cheese Grater, the insane metal cheese themed band. I want their sound to be modeled after. Uh, like stra- alien era strapping young lad. I would also love to have another one that's just like Metallica, but they're constantly just not taken seriously. That would make me so happy. Oh, you mean Lars Ulrich? Yeah. <laughs> well, they're Hetfield to... himself is like they're just I don't know, man. They are so litigious. What it's. Are... Ugh. What's the Farfetch Universe's version of Napster that they could try to take down? <laughs> Sleep Star. Instead there of you Napster. go. <laughs> Sleeper Radio or something. Fucky friend, I love, I love Elevator Man. Won't you come and ride with the Elevator Man? Is there a baby over there, Ashley? Little crinklet uh, wanted to hop up on my lap. Oh, there she is. Hi, honey. And her way of letting me know she wants to hop up is by tapping my foot with her paw. And I was just like, it's okay. You can come up. And she was like, I am fat. I, I How do I jump up there? And I'm like, I don't know. You gotta figure out that out yourself, baby. <laughs> we have a bonus track with just Dave and a cow, but that'll be the cover. I'll just do the cow, though. I would kill for that, yes. We had we had a joke that maybe we would do a thing where like it starts off with Griff starts off with a cowbell and then the rest of them are like Griff Shut up (laughs) (laughs) Griff no It's not happening, I told you. No. (laughs) Everybody say hi to Cricket. She is now sitting in my lap. Join the stream all all cool. So Gizmo the rat is next to me at all times, so Mm -hmm. He's sleeping right now. No, 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 no. All right. So. 
<laughs> Everybody uses the cow. The whole song is just cowbells for each part of the song. That's you should, how you, you should, take the joke to the extreme. You should sidechain the entire song to a constant, like, four on the floor cowbell. So, like, so, so, feel the reaper. <laughs> Are y'all trying to hurt me? Is that what's going on here? <laughs> yeah, we're trying to, yes. to, to, to burn your brain. <laughs> Will you make a cover of the anime opening for the four kids of What do you want to do? Like, dreaming, don't give it up, Lufa. Please? Like, what you... <laughs> you guys are going to kill Hunter. You no, know, we recreate the four kids One Piece rap, but about the far fetched characters. Like, I'm... dreaming, don't give it up, Quinn, and dreaming, don't give it up, Ruin, dreaming, like, like that. <laughs> Y'all are gonna kill me. That's what this is about. Doing some weird stuff over here. Give me a second. Okay, so it stays on A there. That's what's going on here. Okay. It's metalpipe.mp4 over and over again. <laughs> My personal hell. <laughs> Oh god, the polka rat, but it's literally just counting all the monsters that appear in Far Fetch. You can make a hundred and... <laughs> Yeah, Zeno, you know, we have to make hundred and fifty one different creatures. That wouldn't be hard. Here up plus a hundred and fifty others. That pisses me off. Why why couldn't Pokemon just do the nice round 150? What can we just kill one of them? <laughs> oh my god. Like, like, I'm very particular about that. Stuff. I'm one of those people who goes to the gas station and I have to hit like exactly thirty dollars on the dot or I get mad. Like What's the weird like a... flame Pokemon that looks like shit? Fire Fire oh. Man? Charmander, huh? No, no. <laughs> Not my baby Charmander. Anyway, the weird duck fire Pokemon. We could get rid of that one from the first gen. That one's not necessary. Slug Slugma is the flame slug. No, I Fire like Slugma. He's cute. No, not Moltres. Is it Magmar? Let me look it up. Oh, it's the one with the stupid, yeah, with the big butthole head. Yeah, Dang. the butthead duck fight. Yeah, that could be gotten rid of. Then we have a nice ease of in 150. No, not Growlithe. Growlithe's a good baby. Of the of the original Pokemon, like the original 151, what are you guys' favorite? E boy. Yeah, E boy. E -boy. I have hunter. an Eevee that uh. stays on my desk literally at all times, so... Oh, do we, do we want to tell that story, Ashley, about Christmas? <laughs> what happened to Christmas? <laughs> you see this like it was my fault! Oh, so, chat, it was Christmas time, and I'm like, man, I sure love my friend and co-creator Ashley. I should give her a nice special Christmas present. Wow, her favorite Pokemon is Eevee. I found this nice big Eevee plush on Amazon for about $100. I'm going to get it for her. <laughs> and apparently, she already owned this Eevee <laughs> plush. Not once, <laughs> but twice. <laughs> and no one in the house decided to tell Dave. I had oh, two no. of because I got one for myself and then one for one of my best friends who also loves Eevee a lot. 
And I was like, Dave, why'd you spend a hundred dollars on this? It's only fifty dollars at Target down the street. And I, I, because I, I, uh. And so then Dave that, got terrified uh, of buying me anything because he's like, well, what if Ashley already fucking owns it? And I can't ask her because then she'll know what I'm going to get her. And can, so fucking it was this constant struggle of like, what the fuck do I buy Ashley? And then we went to our local antique store that we really love uh, that is literally like the size of a fucking city block. It's massive. Um, and the moment we walked in... There was a giant Eevee head pillow that yeah. I ran over and grabbed. And I was like, oh my god, baby. And what? Dave just fucking ripped it from my hands and was like, that's your Christmas gift. Merry Christmas. Yep. And and she got me back because in the same store, there was a uh, Hedera, the smog monster figure from Godzilla. And she's like, here's your birthday gift. And I'm like, yeah, you, okay, you were, we're even. You were at the checkout. And I was like, hey, hey Dave, can I? Can I see that real quick for yeah? Just a second. And I cut in front of him in line. And I was like, I'm gonna buy this. Is it bad that I didn't think you were gonna buy it for me? I thought you were gonna put it back as a joke. <laughs> like, like when you took it from me. The, the cashier like, started fucking cracking up because she just uh, watched that whole interaction happen. Yeah. You still haven't bought me a birthday gift. Yeah. Dave. Danger. Danger. Hey, what's your favorite Gen One Pokemon? <laughs> Uh, Hauntor. Oh, Aww, that's a thanks. Good choice. <laughs> oh. oh God. Hauntor bass. <laughs> well, you Hauntor bass. What's your favorite Gen One Pokemon? I actually really, really liked uh, Ghastly. I don't know. Hey, nice. is cool. Yeah. How are your farts? Good. <laughs> you should said Ghastly. Mm. Oh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> um. <laughs> I was going to say, uh, it's actually, speaking of Helldivers 2, it's really funny, because a lot of the times when I'm playing, I am playing with Hunter, and that's really funny whenever you get killed by a Hunter bug, and I keep going, God damn it! Oh, wait, it's not actually you. Yeah, he keeps thinking <laughs> of killed him. <laughs> You'd be right only 50% of the time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Hunter I'm kidding. loves to carpet bomb us every five seconds in Hilda. You know what? That's no near, nowhere near as our one friend who like became ex explicably mind happy. <laughs> only for a bit until he realized mm. his folly. It took him a long time to realize that. Folly. I can't believe. You know what I did when I realized I was killing all of my friends with carpet bombs? I just started bringing the booster that gives us all more lives. <laughs> <laughs> I'll fix this. <laughs> That's actually a good question by Crystal Moon. Hmm. Obviously, the originals are co are uh, canon. Are the covers canon in the far fetched universe? Uh, I'd say no. That's that's an interesting question because like obviously all of the stuff in Farfetch is made up, like the bands and stuff, and these are like covers of actual songs, so I guess technically not, but Sesamoid will perform them regardless. Yeah. Don't think don't think that much about it. it I think that's the fair way to say. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just don't Ruins think about fun. The only the <laughs> only like real fun. world musician that's canon in Farfetch universe is Alice Cooper because he's married to Clota. Yeah, that, that we we wanted. That's a joke we had. Where it was like, <laughs> we wanted really to do it. Joking, complete joke. No, no, it's a complete joke. But we had the idea as a joke that everything in Farfetched is like our own universe's version of the real world, except the only thing that's actually from the real world is that at one point Cloda dated just Alice Cooper as himself. <laughs> And we want to just get Alice Cooper to voice like, oh, she was one hot mama or something. <laughs> think... Paid fucking $75,000 to say that one line. Yeah. <laughs> Can Weird Al cameo? We would fucking love that. I would, I would cry. I would cry. Him, I, and, I, him I... and Griff would have to have a duet. They do. They, oh, my God. They do a duo cover of Dare to be Stupid. Oh, that'd be so cute. God knows that's pants. probably never going to happen, though. Weird Al's a hard get. I'll say he's easier than a lot of celebrities because he loves doing that's animation. True. I was going to say, I, I was fed something by the YouTube algorithm earlier today that horrified and also amazed me. Mm -hmm. 
It was the scene from I assume Barnyard. Is that the is that the show with all the cows? Oh, back back oh, in the yeah. barnyard. Yeah, yeah, back in the barnyard. And it was Weird Al doing like a fully like animated kung fu fight in his own home. Oh yeah, maybe we could get. <laughs> oh my Who knows? god. I guess what Scooby-Doo. I'm saying is he's not too good for back at the barnyard. Oh a my Scooby-Doo god. Scooby Doo crossover with Farfetch would be amazing. I agree. Someone also said we should get Surge Tankian from System of a Down. <laughs> Just. He, he's just like, all right, all right. Well, sir. we aren't corporate animation, so maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I, I would love Surge just like, where are you going? <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm being eaten by a monster. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm a huge System of a Down fan, but Surge's voice sometimes is a little silly. It, it works for the theatrics of the of the band. Yeah. I, I remember he, context, he tried to do yeah. a. Yeah, he tried to do a, or he did like a movie score for like a, it was a movie about like an earthquake or something in Europe. And uh, he did the entire score for it. And it's very, very Casio keyboard sounding, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. And um, he, oh no, wait, no, this was a different movie. Like, I think he does like a vocal song for every movie, but there's another one he did that has a similar problem of sounding very Casio keyboard. And he did a vocal song at the end that's supposed to be really heartfelt and serious and operatic. And it's like, I'm, I'm not sure if, if he could pull that off, if I'm honest. I will say, funny enough, speaking of Blue Oyster Cult, the band we're currently covering, for that, for uh, King of the Monsters, Surge did that cover of Godzilla by them with uh, Brendan Small from uh, Metalocalypse. Oh, Remember that? Yeah. Yeah, he did a so he did a cover with Tom Morello, and it was really bad. Also, Yikes. you know, actually, the, uh, oh, he did Crazy Train. That's right. Yeah, he did a song with a uh, Tech Nine that I actually like. It's like called Straight Out the Gate. That's pretty good. Hmm. Uh, I do not know what that is. Um. I think the best use of like Surge's Surge and Darren Malakian's vocals are I love radio video from uh, Mesmerize. That might be one of my favorite songs of theirs. Oh, Trackside Maniac. I don't know if we'll do a cover of Crazy Train, but that is the first song on Clota's playlist. I will say. Because I don't know if you guys noticed, but Clota's design is a little bit, has a little bit of Ozzy to it. She's a mix of Ozzy and Kay from Kay's Cooking. What a combination. <laughs> <laughs> they have similar though. vibes. Yeah. They do. I was like, Adam sent me that fucking video of they were talking about cilantro to Ozzy. And it's cilantro? Yeah, Ozzy, what's that? You could not was, uh... grasp what cilantro is. <laughs> yeah. I, lo- I love that Sharon kept going, Ozzy, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> She is so perfect to him. Like, yeah. are, she is literally the only woman that could deal with him. I, there's that there's that one famous clip of him being like, like he's like, oh hello darling, how are you? Like, Someone stolen the beers out of my bum. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's like, no, Ozzy, no one did that. And he goes, uh, you drank all the beers in your room. Oh, <laughs> it's just full, full zombie mode. <laughs> Nothing going on in there. Oh, Candy Spark. Uh, I, I remember that in a uh, OKKO, OK Jonathan Davis played like a a rock villain in that from Corn. You remember that? Oh, an OKKO. OK yeah, he played like a. Uh, like like a, a, a some kind of villain that had like rock and roll powers, but it was actually Jonathan Davis. Oh, was pretty cool. We do not. Corn have... South Park also. Yes, that's one. Of... And they were the, they were the that... they were the only ones with a different like art style. I've said show. before that is if you want to get the closest to like a far fetched episode, uh, it, it's like it's the uh, the corn Scooby Doo. Mystery episode of South Park. 
where it's like it's like corn's spooky pirate mystery or whatever <laughs> and, and it's all the members of corn like let's split up gang like that what i what but, i always but, say like... what i always say is the closest thing to an episode of farfetched is the scooby-doo supernatural episode yeah so, scooby yeah. natural and, and, and then the gang all gets together like we're gonna have to use our special corn powers <laughs> totally that's totally what happened, and, and yeah. they turn into like a, a corn of the cob and a porn bucket and like a, a popcorn bucket and they're just sitting there like, <laughs> yeah. good foreshadowing for episode one corn powers activate i didn't even think about that oh my god <laughs> uh, it's too late dave you've done it now oh now we gotta go back to the writing board uh, we are not we're not <laughs> changing him <laughs> No, I refuse. That is the that is such the most me character, and I'm not losing him. The general public won't be able to put the pieces together. It's fine. Guys, completely off topic, but because of the new Ghostbusters movie, they have an icy flavor in gas stations right now, just called Slimer's Back. Well, you. <laughs> Ew, it makes me think you're eating uh, Slimer's like bat yeah, bat. You, you gotta hit it from the back. Oh. Ah. Come on. <laughs> there's that one, there's that one, what's that one Slimer with a really defined ass? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Slimer's back. I, got, I gotta I get that, that one Slimer popcorn bucket from AMC where it looks like he's like, his maw is just overflowing with kernels. All right, there we go. Adam will BRB. Okay. Yeah, Pi, the cyber guy. This is the new uh, Sona Ashley made for me. Any more coffee questions, Ashley? Oh, let me chill. We got more. Yep, we've got a couple more. Ah, okay. the same person who made the request about Boxcar Children's back. Uh, so Trekside Maniac says, so Boxcar Children is kind of like the RWS books. I don't know what those are. Um, except the RWS is about a British steam car engine with fake or is about British steam car engines with faces that can talk, ah! And might also be about a cheeky blue tank engine with a number one, I see. So I think you can put the pieces together on that. So wait, you want me to read Thomas the Tank Engine books? What that kind of does sound like what it sounds like. I'm very curious what those books would be about. Remember when can, Ringo... I, you know what? Those are very chill. I can hear it. I can get it. Remember when Ringo was the narrator for Thomas the Tank Engine? I did not know that. Yeah, Ringo Starr, he was. Yep. Yeah. That that's ass. why. That's he why in that one in it. That one. Shut up. That one <laughs> goofy animation I showed you of the Ringo of the Beatles oh, meet Miku. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, he's just riding on the Thomas with <laughs> I'm in your power. Like, and then next we've got a coffee donation from Alistair Bellman who says, Is there any chance for Sesamoid cover of Scooby-Doo Hex Girls songs such as Hex Girls and Trap of Love? I absolutely want to do a cover of Hex Girls. We almost, we were actually considering a Hex we Girls song when almost, we did Terror Time. Yeah, we problem, almost yeah. did it. Um, so who knows? Maybe next Halloween? Who's to say? The, the, maybe. The thing is, is that like because uh, you guys are usually going to always get a Halloween cover that's pretty safe from us, but um, we don't want to do too many Scooby-Doo references <laughs> to the point where it's like... What is this, just are, a Scooby-Doo uh, show? We are trying to make the show unique enough. Not Listen, I love the Hex Girls. I'm not knocking the Hex Girls. I, but... I will say right now, you will get a Hex Girls cover someday. Yeah. I, I will make sure of it. When I that is, tomorrow. who knows? <laughs> yeah. This this is far ahead, but I actually this year for Halloween, we we've done two. We we did Terror Time, and I put a spell on you. I want to do something a little bit different, like that. We will we, because we always have to agree on it. But uh, maybe one that's like a little bit more of like Rob Zombie, L. Cooper, something along those lines. I, I think Halloween actually might be a better. Opportunity for Psycho Killer. 
Yeah, no, I also like fun. Hunter. Ever since you suggested doing Thriller, I get oh, it. Oh, that would be fun. Um, I don't know. It is a little tricky because it's a Michael Jackson song. That's you know? true. Right. I don't know if I want to. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Have to think about that one. Uh, oh, but uh, Alistair Boneman also adds, I'd also love to hear a cover of the classic Aussie songs like Great Southern Land by Ice House, Midnight Old Beds, and Burning and Men at Work Down Under. Yeah, we might do an Aussie song someday. Yeah. That'd be fun. You know, that's, uh, I come from a land down under. That, yeah. Are they even Australian? I don't think they are. What, Men at Work? I remember hearing that the people who made that song actually weren't Australian or some shit. Well, no, I could be mixing it up. The song is about going to Australia and not understanding anything that's going oh, on. Oh, okay, okay. So, uh, Yablin says, on the subject of music, Ices and large vehicles, as Papa rolls an ice cream truck, does he have a theme song that plays when he drives? And why is it The Distance by Cake? <laughs> I love Cake. Oh my god. Cake is so fucking good. Such a good band. <laughs> I ate a bunch of cake last night. Oh yeah. Cake. <laughs> no, I love Cake. Fucking, they're an excellent band. Dude, Mackle and Ariel's cover would go crazy, especially with how Hunter's playing right now. Definitely. I'm... They do some weird things in this song. <laughs> just like timing wise and structure wise, they just like make it irregular to cover. All right. Cool. What's your reaction on Chi and Coffee's kiss on Chicken Nugget? Fucking finally. Oh, yeah, I haven't watched that yet. I totally yeah. forgot it came out. I gotta go sure, check it's very it out. Cute. Very cute. Everything Chicken Nugget makes is so fucking cute. Massive shout out to Chicken Nugget. Both the creators are also very wonderful people. Tichi says, right, right? Yeah. Down with the sickness cover. <sighs> Man, what would a good Disturbed song be? Land of Confusion. Oh, but that's a cover, that's too. That's a cover of Genesis. I know, I know. Okay, okay, Dave. I'm um, sorry, I'm sorry. I'll go back in the basement. <laughs> I will I, I Actually, I will say... Something from the Ten Thousand Fists album, though, maybe like yeah. Stricken or Ten Thousand Fists or I almost named off an Avenged Sevenfold song because <laughs> I get those two bands confused. Fair amount. Of... Oh God, you know what would be a super Sesamoid song to cover, but it's way too graphic. I feel like <laughs> either a City of Evil of... or Oh, go ahead. A little piece of heaven. I was oh, just okay. thinking a little piece of heaven. <laughs> when I was an edgy high schooler, I used to listen to that song, and now I go back, and I'm just like, this is so fucking... This is a lot. This is much. Yeah. It's you a guys brutal know... fucking... You guys talking about Blue Dabba D? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to know a really Blue fun Dabba fact Dabba about Dabba Little Piece of Heaven? Because it's an Avenged Sevenfold song, but they have all the, uh, you know, the, the, the uh, wood instruments and everything on it. The uh, the horns and wood section is actually the Oingo Boingo uh, uh, horn and wood performers from that band. Oh, band they hired. That's neat. No kidding. Because oh, uh, wow. M Shadow said he ha he wanted to make like an Oingo Boingo song when they made that, <laughs> and I'm like, that makes a lot of sense. Like. <laughs> Would you do Sound of Silence? So, the thing with this, I don't know about you guys, the Disturbed Sound of Silence cover, it sounds really cool, and I love David Draymond's voice, but it also is, like, completely misses the point of that song. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm kind of split on it. I don't know. To me, Sound of Silence is just a song that's been covered so many times that nobody knows who the original artist was. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little too much of a meme, also. Ooh. Scary. It's sort of like it's sort of like in the end by Linkin Park, where it's like, I mean, that could be cool, but immediately it's like, oh, 
You have well, no this idea. Is a joke. You have no idea how badly I wanted to put in the end on Warren's character playlist, but I couldn't because it was you too picked, much of a meme. You picked one more light, which is an interesting pick by Linkin Park. Yeah, I like that. I like that song. I feel like that's, it fits. that's that's the song literally about like basically Chester saying goodbye. Not to bring down this because no, no, you're in front of But I just went quiet because I was going, yeah, that's that's why I. I I'm like, oh, uh, that's why. I, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's the reason why it's on there. Ooh, actually, um, scary monsters and super creeps by David Bowie. That would be a fun. That'd one. be fun, yeah. That'd be really fun. Oh, uh, speaking of the playlist, real quick though, let me plug it. So if you go to farfetched.show or farfetchedshow.com, our show's website, uh, you can check out literally everything about the show. We've got all the music listed, all the things that you can watch, like the teaser and the proof of concept and all that listed. Uh, I think I said all the comics, all the music, yada yada. Uh, but also, there are little character pages where you can read up about the characters and linked on every one of those pages is a little playlist for each of the characters that fits kind of the character's vibe and story a little bit. So if you want to kind of get a better feel of the character's general vibe and maybe some hints at their story, uh, go check out the character playlists on farfetch.show or farfetchshow.com. We're working on the Reagan and Clota ones are almost done. They I believe the be link is also down below. Yeah, the Reagan and Clota ones are coming soon, but everybody else and Drain also has one. That's so awesome. I, I, again, I'm so glad y'all decided to do that. I, I've Just... been fiddling with those playlists since like 2022. <laughs> I was like, eh, we should finally put these out there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to use the restroom real quick, guys. I will be right yeah, back. Think? Take a big cool. boy tinkle. Sweet Jesus. You know what's funny, Kirby? No joke. We One of the options for Halloween, we actually have in the past talked about Living Dead Girl by Rob Zombie as oh, an yeah. option. Absolutely. That, that, that is one of the ones we've talked about. Mm. Um, Adam, uh, our friend Cole, who uh, works on the comics tonight, we went and saw Rob Zombie and Alice Cooper. A few months ago, and that was that was an incredible concert. That was a lot of fun. Also, we got a few more Kofi donations. Uh, and if you guys would like to donate and help support us, uh, linked in the chat, there's a Kofi link, or down in the description below, you can find a Kofi link. All the money goes to help support everybody you see here, uh, and pay their bills and get far fetched made. So we appreciate you. But let's get to these requests. Um, Mackle says, hey guys, excited for the show. Looks really cool. Uh, I have a discussion kind of question thing. Favorite mo I... moment in an animated show where the creators got some insane connection and were able to get a certain special guest voice. Ooh, um, that's a great question. Oh, man. So, like, like favorite, like, cameo in an animated show yeah, that worked yeah. for it? Yeah, uh... So I am not really somebody who understood or kept track of like celebrities and like uh, big major music creators and, you know, actors and directors and stuff like that. Like I didn't really pay attention to any of that until very recently. Um, so a lot of cameos and stuff I didn't register as a kid. Like, my biggest, like, cameo that I was excited about when I was younger is the Jimmy Timmy Power Hour. Like, that was pretty good, though. <laughs> I, I had never registered when, like, Gilbert Godfrey was on Fairly Odd Parents or, like, when other shows got big creators. Um, I think the most recent one, or I guess the one that from my, ch I guess, childhood, young adulthood, that I got super hype about was Cheese <coughs> Sandwich and My Little Pony. Them getting Weird Al in My Little Pony. That, that was a the, lot of fun. That is the only episode of My Little Pony I have seen. Is the one where Cheese Sandwich first shows up. I think the biggest one for me was the Supernatural Scooby Doo crossover too. Um, for me, it's probably uh in Gravi the, the 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 series finale of Gravity Falls. Where they got Kyle McLaughlin, who is Agent Cooper in Twin Peaks, to be the bus driver. 
Oh, that's so cool. Dipper and Mabel home. That was pretty awesome. Uh, as a huge Twin Peaks fan, um, I also <laughs> I loved. Um, do you guys remember the old episode of? This isn't really a cameo, but the old episode of SpongeBob where Sandy is gonna go into hibernation, so she has SpongeBob do all these like crazy activities, and they got Pantera to do the soundtrack for the episode. What the fuck? That was awesome. Um, what about you, Adam? Adam? Oh, I guess Adam's Adam? dead. He's gone. Goodbye, Adam. I miss you. Uh, but yeah, those are some of our favorite crossovers. Uh, and then Fizzy Dizzy asks, uh, here's some Canadian money. Ugh, don't you know Canadian money is not real? You gotta start paying with real money. People got mad at me when I made that <laughs> joke on Honeycast one time. <laughs> Ed used to make that joke all the time, too, and people got genuinely mad. <laughs> no, seriously, we appreciate you. Which is, it's a joke. Uh, I was wondering, <laughs> what is it like leading a team on a production? Uh, my friend was running an indie production for an animated <sighs> pitch, but there was trouble and it fell through. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Uh, any words of advice for any of us if we were ever to find ourselves uh, in leading positions or leading productions? So leading, just leadership in general is really fucking hard. It is easy yes. to fuck it up uh, because there are a million factors involved. And the biggest thing is communication and having a good bead on how your team is doing, how they're feeling. Uh, making sure that they feel comfortable communicating with you and talking to you if something's a problem or if something's wrong. Uh, and it is also a lot of just making sure that you are organized and on top of things and, you know, keeping track of everything because it is so, so easy for stuff to get lost and for things to, you know, get disorganized and mismanaged and for you to lose track of people. So. I recommend it when you're wanting to lead a project or starting with leading something, start very, very, very small with a very small team of people that you know. Start with friends yes. and yeah. be sure to make it very clear that communication is extremely important to you and that you want to make sure that they are happy and comfortable and enjoying what they're doing and that you respect them and you respect their time. Because 100%. unless, unless you know, they, you know, if they don't feel that, things are going to fall apart. Um, and once you get to bigger and bigger positions, it's good to eventually bring on, like, somebody for PR, or not even a PR person, but just a neutral party that is helping with leadership that the team doesn't feel, have to feel intimidated about contacting um, because sometimes it's it's scary to contact the big leader about problems. Um, yeah. So just take it slow, take it easy. Um, there's certainly a lot of good books about there about you know leadership and leadership skills that you can read. Um, but yeah, just make sure that you care about your team and that they know that you care about them, and you're already a good way into what you need to be doing. So best yeah. of luck. Yeah, what she said. <laughs> also, I'm back. My mic got messed up. Hello. Oh, no. Hello. Uh, also, uh, Zonda F. Roadster, I just wanted to say, um, Alice Cooper, I do remember that, but he, he didn't play the devil in Jesus Christ Superstar. He played King Herod in Jesus Christ Superstar, which was awesome. That was an awesome production. Also, uh, we have one more coffee donation from the Diamond Planet who said... Would it be feasibly possible to get stems directly from you guys to remix Ad Ventricular? I understand if it isn't possible, but I would love to remix that song. Enter. I think we've discussed this previously, <laughs> and it's a little tricky. Uh, it is. So we would have to figure out the best way of going about doing that. We essentially just want to make sure that like those recording materials are still... like. <laughs> So even if we did release stems, they would somehow be altered, whether that's in like a frequency spectrum way or the way that they're edited, that kind of thing. And quite honestly, I want to release stems because I think that would be fun. It'd be fun to see all the different ways people do our songs. Something um, we discussed recently is possibly releasing uh, instrumental versions of our songs. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. 
I would also say that, like, yeah. I, so, yeah, if we did that, we just need to make sure they were edited properly and delivered properly in a way that wouldn't in any way jeopardize things like uh, existing copyright, existing licensing. Because, like, for instance, I would hate for us to release those stems, people remix them, and then they get constantly taken down because yeah. content ID or something like that. And it looks like we're just shooting down a bunch of, like, fan projects. Which would <laughs> like never happen. Uh, yeah, so like those kinds of situations are ones that like I'd like to just make sure we know in our hearts are ironed out before we went and did that. Because as simple as it seems to just like dump all the stems out and say, "Hey guys, go nuts," it could actually create a lot of problems, like just between like fans, content, uh, like identification services, and us essentially because it would look like we're striking down things so yeah i've just gotta do more research on how those things work and how it can be kind of disseminated safely without any of that happening and yeah i'm game more or less yeah like we absolutely well, want to do it it's just figuring out the best way of going about it is a little tricky Okay, cool. By the way, you know what's real? I will say, because this song was made in 1978, was it? Um, 1976, 1978. That statistic is not correct anymore. That, that uh, lyric that's... about 40,000 people dying every day, it is a lot more now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's, that statistic <laughs> we was update the, 19th... the lyrics to be the real number? Oh, yeah. God, please no. <laughs> also, Adam, real quick, do you want to do a little cheeky dinner order? Oh, uh, oh God, it is four, isn't it? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah what are you feeling? I'm hungry. I want to do uh, poke. I was, gonna, I was actually going to get order food after the stream for myself. Hmm. I had a little snack earlier. <laughs> Want to order some big poke, Adam? This sounds good. Come over here. We'll get food sorted. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Hello. That'd be funny. It, it mackles it. Imagine it's not an even number. It's like 86,493. Another 86,493 people coming every day. <laughs> It's a horrible fucking way to... Oh, God. Sorry, I'm trying to get the number of repeats on this one, right? <laughs> I love this drawing of Quinn as a dishwasher just screaming. Okay, so apparently the modern death toll for every day is 166,859. Thank you, Diamond ah. Planet. Love that. <laughs> And Love that we all know that now. Everybody's dead. <laughs> I'm inside your head. The blink one eighty two. You're red. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Let's do a cover of "Where Are You." Yes, Enzo, there are some bad, sad backstories for some of the creatures. Especially when we get into, like, the stuff with the main villain. Yeah, you'll, you'll definitely hear some sort of sad and tragic and kind of messed up backstories for some of them. Ooh, God, that bass sounds so good. Would any of you make a cameo in the show? We've talked about, like, if any of us were to, like, make, like, some kind of vocal cameo in the show. I've said personally, even though Ashley and I are both voice actors, 
personally in this show, if I was to voice anything, I want it to be some like some random person being like killed by a monster or being stepped on, like ah, something like yeah. that. Like I would that- love to be the <laughs> angry neighbor who yells at the band to shut up when they try to have their first <laughs> rehearsal. <laughs> that you you're, you live next to Cloda, like in the garage, like keep it down, like <laughs> shut <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> Just do the smosh sound. Yeah. All right. Let's get some better bass laid out. Yes, uh, Turkey Rear. It's originally by Blue Oyster Cult. That's correct. I don't know if you guys saw on Twitter, but oh, Sesamoid themselves, Quinn, posted a uh, selfie with the band practicing as they're finishing up Preacher Feature. So um, we're, we're trying to use that account more. And uh, so it's like it's kind of like the band is like real and stuff. So there's more interactivity. Listen. I did say I want to be stepped on, and I didn't even think about that, and I should have. I should I should have thought about that phrasing. I always mess that part up. It's such a weird transition they do there. Little odd numbers of chords typically don't cycle over that way. All right. Oh. <laughs> uh, I like how the Test Boy Twitter account just has Quinn as the profile picture. Yeah, that's for him. Yeah, we decided that after because we originally had like. That picture of the full band from the end of Advent Trickula, and then I was like, "No, if they're gonna have a if they're gonna have a Twitter account, Quinn's gonna absolutely put himself as the profile picture, even though they can all tweet from it." And stop thinking about sesame seeds when you think of sesamoid. Hey, listen, sesame seeds. That's on you. All right. Also, I, 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 you know, sesame seeds are a good part of a burger. They're, they're American, Brian. They're an American band. We're an American band. Now comes the hard part. No, not yet. Oh, not yet. You're right. Will there be Christmas song covers? We haven't done a holiday or a Christmas song yet, which would not be a bad idea. Um, it's definitely not off the table. We just have to figure out which one we'd want to do if we did. That's enough of it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's this could be fun? I do love Trying Siberian Orchestra. 
Oh yeah, that sounds nice. It's just so hard because like there's so much movement on that one, but if I hit the string too hard, it yeah you get a little bit of that rattle and like you need it when you want to do like slap and stuff like that, but the moment you just want a nice clean thick note out of it, nope. There we go. Uh, some random says, first time watching one of your streams, what you're doing? We are currently uh, laying down where we're in, Hunter is recording the uh, our Don't Fear the Reaper cover that we're going to be doing, putting out after Creature Feature. And we're kind of yeah. showing you guys the process of how the music gets made for Sesamoid. One question I was going to have that Adam might be... Uh, I'm, I'm here helpful. now. I am yeah, 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 yeah. Hello. I was going to say, one thing Adam might be helpful on is, uh, did you have any, like, preliminary ideas on what might be cool for, like, synths and stuff? Any, like, yeah. suggestions you want me to plan for? Because, like, uh, there's definitely, like, organ and stuff like that in here. Um, mm -hmm. I didn't know if you wanted to just stick with that <laughs> texture. Maybe you wanted to... Like, have a little bit more room so that you could get a little weirder with it, you know? Um, yeah, I mean, I'd say just do, like, I think what we've done in the past, like, you just do your thing, and if you want, lay down, like, just an idea for sense, and then I just okay. take that and roll with it, or I just start adding stuff. Um, Sweet. I don't know if Dave or We're Ashley trying. had any, like, particular thoughts on that. Uh, this is really Dave's song, so I'll leave that okay. up to him. On the spot, Dave, hurry. <laughs> it's not Adam's song Stop by Blink 182, it's Dave's song. <laughs> um I definitely think like for this, like the the synth should be very like uh add a lot to the amb the, the ambience of it. Mm -hmm. Like very much like um you know, maybe like a lot of background, kinda like longer notes, and then like if you want to do some runs, maybe have them kind of like mixed in with like the guitar runs and stuff. Um, okay, yeah, kind of doing some unison stuff with them. To yeah, yeah. Kinda augment the sound they make. That'd be cool. Because yeah. I definitely want the sound from that to be like very like to give it this sort of like almost like ghostly and haunting and kind of like flying away sort of like feel to it. Okay. Does that makes sense, Adam. Yeah. No, definitely. Ah. That might be uh, a job for the CMI again. Yay. The CMI is that uh, machine that made the wacky sounds at the beginning of the Farfetch theme. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that, that could work. That it's, it's, really a, it's, it's the same machine they use for the Terminator 2 soundtrack. Oh, hell yeah. I thought you were just going to say yeah. the same sound they used for the Terminator. I'm like, what? Is that really <laughs> different than I remember it being? Dun, 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 <laughs> it's just a big keyboard running around going oh, overheat. <laughs> Speaking of Terminator noises, Dave, is this driven guitar a little too driven in your opinion? No, I think that's just a ride them out. Okay, perfect. It's no just a little bit that. of purr. Yeah, yeah, you got it. That, that's like the because that, that's kind of what's going for. Like I wanted like it to have a bit of edge, but not like as hard as like creature feature or terror time. Yeah, that's like that nice little spot. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Follow up question: Do you want there to be more of that distributed throughout the song so far, or are you okay with that kind of being relegated to the parts where it kind of just is building? You know. Oh. Uh... Personally, I would say use it sparingly. I was gonna say, yeah, th th that's the, I I do agree. Thinking about it, um, because like, because ha I think having that back and forth between going softer and harder, kind of through where it matters, will will sound cooler. A fluctuation so. in the energy. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Appreciate you all. Might be right. Yablin's ass. Might be a difficult question to answer this early in the game, but is there a planned end for the series, like Gravity Falls, or will the train keep going as long as there's fuel in Venture Time? Yes, there is a planned actually, ending. We, if Ashley and I somehow got our way, <laughs> and that we were able to make this full show, we have a three three season story. 
Yeah. Like, we yeah. could probably extend it a little bit if we were given the opportunity. Like, there's definitely more to explore that we could explore, but there is a definitive ending. Yeah. Eh, but there is also stuff, like, after that ending that we could also go into. Farfetched is a very big world with a and lot DLC. going on. <laughs> with VLC, yeah. Make VLC the new main character. That would be awful. Right. <laughs> that would suck. <laughs> Only our patrons, yeah. pat patrons know who VLC is. Yeah. I was gonna say I'm I'm familiar with the media player, like the little the little yeah, orange yeah. cone. <laughs> we'll, we'll tell you after. Yeah. We need, they won't, we need guys. To... They're lying to y'all. They're just trying to look like they're nice to their crew. <laughs> <laughs> we named one of the major characters. Or we, we finally, like, decided on the name of a major character. Oh, okay. Uh, recently. Like, we had just been calling them, like, a placeholder name forever. And we were like, okay, we need to definitively decide on uh, their gotcha. name. And so we, we picked out a name. But it... <laughs> It is fucking, uh, not synonym. What, if I, what is it called when it's just the letters? You're oh, acronym. Acronym. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. Yeah, it's fucking an acronym for VLC. Nice. All right, Dave, now it's your favorite part. Abbreviation, Ugh. yeah. This is going to be so rough. Initials. No, no, that's it. Oh, initials. Gotcha. His initials are VLC. Okay, okay. An acronym is like a whole phrase or something, isn't it? I don't know. I don't know words. I'm not smart. I, I, think, initials are specific. I think initials are specifically for people's names. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's why I said initials, because the character's... Full yeah. name initials are VLC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that's, yeah, that's yeah. what I mean. Yeah, that's yeah, the difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, yeah. let's get this muted. We're going to switch over to guitar. Ah. So I have my windowed projector from OBS running on this screen, right? And the amount of times I have tried to click on the taskbar because I think it's an actual screen <laughs> that's usable. Oh. <laughs> Oh no. I'm just sitting here clicking on the little icon for where my like programs are down here and it's just nothing nothing happens and then I do it again because I think, oh maybe I just missed it, you know? Ah. All right, uh, there we go. Teddy Bear Belly says, Hey guys, first far fetched stream. Where can I send my art to be featured on the stream? Love you and the crew. Uh tweet it uh under hashtag farfetch show on Twitter. Yes. Hashtag Farfetch Show on Twitter. I need to include that hashtag in this layout, actually. Yeah, It'd be dummy. good to put it right. All right. Okay. <laughs> so we need mean. To get, we don't need to get sassy. No, no, no need for words like that. No, no need for hurtful <laughs> words. By the way, I gotta ask: Did you two order Poke because I brought up Pokemon? Uh, no. I was just browsing through DoorDash and I was like, "What's healthy that I can eat?" Okay. I was like, ah, oh, okay, and then Michael barged in, and he was like, but what if Panda Express? And I was like, well, you do make a very compelling argument, and you but are offering to buy it for me, so I can't say no. That's GG. <laughs> <laughs> so Check shout out to mate. Shout out to Michael for buying me dinner. What a sweet boy. Diamond Planet, we do have a far-fetched Discord. We do. Uh, I could drop a link to that yeah, in the that. chat and make uh, our mods very upset. Hey, Ashley, my guitar is not too loud, right? Yeah, sounds good Definitely. to me. All right, cool. All right, boys. And they thems. And everyone in the middle. Don't tell my mods. Glamour Kitty, we would love to release an art book for Farfetch'd, but I don't know when that would be. That's a bit down the road. That's an expensive endeavor, but we do want to release an art book someday. We gotta make the show first. 
Wait, hold on. Let me make sure this isn't an invite to the actual Farfetch production server. Please don't. Oh, God. <laughs> I've nearly done that multiple times. Someone's like, neat, and then takes a bunch of bender pictures. <laughs> picture <there. laughs> I wouldn't blame them. We would have earned it at that point. All right, there we go. Uh, let's see. Playing bad, bad, Leroy Brown. Baddest man in the whole damn town. Bring back that, bring back that Leroy Brown, bro. Brown. <laughs> okay. All right, time to figure out where this dang old guitar riff comes in. I'm not exactly sure on the timing. Y'all, y'all, y'all put a song up for a vote, and of course, the first one that they pick is five minutes long. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Listen, it was that or 2112. They're gonna say 21 Jump Street. I'm like, it's not even a song. All right, everybody in chat, here's a link to the Farfetched community server. Enjoy. Yeah, this part's really hard, chat. Nope, already in, already off time. Oh boy, this is gonna be a fun one. Yeah. <laughs> the, the solo is. If, by the way, if you don't have to do the exact solo, but like in the, you know. Oh, the solos, I'm not worried about. Like, I can come back to those. I know what I know how to like learn the basic form and like the idea that's trying to be gotten across, and then do like the Piper version of it, right? Yeah, yeah. Which doesn't mean like making it simpler. If anything, it just means making it a little more flavorful rather than like right. unhinged. Um. Yeah. But uh, no, what's tricky here is that I'm playing a sequence of three notes. But we're still counting in four, and so I'm constantly rolling over the one extra note. Um, and so I've got to figure out the right place to start so that when I roll over however many freaking times you roll over on this riff, you end up starting with the same downbeat as everybody else once everything comes back in. And so that's going to be the fun part. Gotta listen Bless to the song you. a couple more times. <laughs> it's all good, man. Comes with the territory. Actually, I just got a notification on my phone that says unusual, unusual join activity detected. Um, oh, yeah, that happens whenever we get a surge of uh, members. I marked it as cleared. Okay, okay. Alright, let's try it again. Next thing I'm going to do is grab a string muter real quick. I'll be right back. Do you want to mute your string? Just stop playing. That was a good hunter emote IRL. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's this uh, nifty little strap you put around the end of your guitar or your strings, and it just keeps the strings silent whilst you play something that's, like, up on higher frets. It's kind of cheating, but realistically it's... <clears throat> Unless I physically hold the other seven strings of my guitar down, when I am playing a string, it will cause the others to, like, naturally be excited and vibrate, just because the wood they're all attached to is vibrating, so that vibration, like transfers essentially um and so yeah the more strings you have the more just it's called sympathetic vibration that you experience and so you have to find ways to deal with it when you're recording otherwise you'll just end up with like a, a sound like uh like this on all the other strings if you just have one note playing fret wraps are life 
All right. Also, if you keep seeing my mic randomly go off, it's because my old, my old little old lady dog Misty keeps scuttling around everywhere. Good girl. <laughs> She's just scuttling around, just like oh, I'm old. Nope. Is there an age limit for the Discord? Nope. All ages. Just don't be weird, please. Oh yeah, the age limit is technically 13 and above because you're not allowed to have a Discord account Yeah. if you're under 13, I believe. So I as long up. as you are compliant to Discord TOS, you're good. You should not be on, on the internet if you are under 13, in my opinion. You shouldn't be on the internet if you're under the age of 25. I agree. You should be on the internet <laughs> if you're under the age of 50. <laughs> We should all leave the internet and touch grass. I agree. Yeah. I let's agree. Go, let's go outside. It's a nice day. All right. Let's get a hi hat in there to keep count. Hey, Ashley. Mm -hmm. I'm going to send this picture of Gizmo I just took. Because he's show me. very adorable. Show me the Gizmoid. Oh, oh big boy. Where'd you put it? It's in damp. Ah. Uh, you really. Oh, there oh, it is. I can't help but feel like this tone is just a little too hot for what we're trying to do in this section. I can I can hear it too. A little staccato. Yeah, that that holding it out a little more like that. Yeah, that's better. Thank you. Appreciate that. All right, let's find something cleaner. Do we want to try maybe the tone we use for the... I like how it's just the Tesseract. <laughs> uh, so there's a band out there called Tesseract. Oh, I know. They're a, they're a progressive band. Yeah, it's a... Uh, this song is... Or this tone is from Concealing Fate Part 1. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's try that. Ah, wrong frets. Love that. I like. Uh, have you heard? I like the song <laughs> April. If you've heard that one. Yes. Did uh, Dave? Have you ever listened to the Contortionist? Why does that sound familiar? Because the Contortionist is awesome. That, 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 yeah. I don't think yeah. I have a yeah. Try out the album language sometime. It's it's okay. really pretty. Okay. Enzo Did Michael uh, Oh you go first. Uh I was just gonna say Enzo asks for Ashley any inspiration on Farfetch'd like an artist, film, show, or idea. Uh inspiration for Farfetch does come from like a ton of different places. <laughs> Lots of different things. Uh like Steven Universe is definitely a big inspiration. Scooby Doo obviously is a big inspiration. Um, Gravity Falls is a big major inspiration more than we, big. We, I I think we rattled off the list is if I could just rattle off the list, it's like Scooby Doo, Steven Universe, uh Evil Dead, Scott Pilgrim, Gravity Falls, Danny Phantom, Killer Clowns from Outer Space, Resident Evil, Resident Evil. It's it's like just it's just everything Ashley and I like that we like butted our heads together. You know what I realized of. is actually a really big inspiration that I don't think you or I even realized. Ernest Scared Stupid. Yes. Also, Stranger Things. Oh, 100%. I've, I've yeah. drawn a lot from Stranger Things that I didn't realize. Ashley is finally watching the fourth season. I finished the fourth season. It was very, very good. Chad, I, I, I have an opinion that I, I wonder if this is an interesting discussion. Where I cannot decide... I have this weird thing with Stranger Things because I love that show. I cannot decide, though, if it should have just been the first season as a standalone miniseries... But I also have the opinion that the fourth season is the best season. So I don't know really where I like stand on it, if that makes any sense at all. I like can, can I hold those both of those opinions? You can have both like, of those opinions. Personally, 
I still wish Stranger Things had been an anthology anthology series where season one was just, you know, Eleven story and like the gang and all that. Yeah. And then season two followed an entirely separate group of kids. Hell, maybe even a group of people in fucking Russia, like discovering all the crazy fucking Russia shit that yeah. they do with uh, the, you know, monster, the, the Demi Gorgon and shit. Or yeah, a group of people who like eventually meet Hopper or something like something like that. Just still tangentially connected, but an entirely different group. Or alternatively, have another season, but it's literally an entirely different story. No connection to the Upside Down, no Demi Gorgons, no fucking KGB, nothing. Like, just a whole new idea, but, like, still has the same feeling and spirit that the first season does. Uh, I really would have liked that. However, season yeah. four is fantastic, um, and I really liked seasons two and three as well. Uh, obviously not as much as seasons one and four, but it's still an amazing show. And they do a fantastic job with it. I just feel like it would have been stronger if it was just season one or if they had, like, done an anth anthology show. Because yeah. I feel like those creators have a lot of really cool and fun ideas. I mm. will say, I'm maybe a little biased on... I mean, because season four, it's just the writing and the characters I love, but... I'm a little biased because season four, especially with Vecna, it really does feel like the Duffer brothers just wanted to make a Freddy Krueger movie. Like, I wish you know? they had just gotten an like, entire original Freddy Krueger season. Like, it didn't have to be connected to the original or anything, because that's so fun. Yeah. Vecna is very Freddy Krueger coded without the, like, bad pun jokes when he kills you, essentially. Like... But that that whole like that mid season with um, Max escaping the Vecna void playing Kate Bush is one of the best things I've seen on TV in a while. It was very good. God, I love Max. She deserves so much better, baby. Yeah. I'm oh, angry God, at I... that show for all the trauma they've put that girl through. I don't know what they're gonna do. Like, what's gonna happen because how it ended with her in that season. What they're gonna I do know. with Fo in the next one. Also, apologies for spoilers, but the show's been out for a while. So. It has been out for a while. Sorry. Dave, did you like Evil Dead Rise? Dave loved Evil Dead Rise. You should watch it. It is like a combination of Evil Dead 2 and Evil Dead 2013. Well, where they like. Dead. It has the feel of the modern ones, but it pays tribute to like the campiness of the old ones. Yeah, Hunter, I'm liking that better. You got it! There we go! Well All done. Right. All it took was Dave saying, good job. No, sorry, I was muted, or like, I, I like muted and deafened myself, because I was like, I just need to cocoon up real quick <laughs> and get this out. Yeah, you. so when you're, uh, when you're ending on that lower note, or that higher note, you're, uh... <clears throat> You're doing that five times, and then ending on the lower note, you do it six times. Why? <laughs> <laughs> but why? <laughs> you know, uh, yeah. but, why, but why, though? Exactly. So unfair. Uncool. Anyway, I'm glad we got through it, so let's see what it sounds like. <sighs> Um, I also, now Kevin, I, I adore Army of Darkness because Evil Dead is my favorite series besides Back to the Future. I have, though, I won, I posted it on Twitter before, but I won an auction. I have six original storyboard pages from the production of Army of Darkness, like authentically from it. And it's the, uh, it's the, like, Sam Raimi's storyboards of, um, the, uh, when they're shooting the arrows at the skeleton army and they're hanging up in a big frame on my wall. It's the only thing I have hanging up right now. Have you ever left the metronome in by accident before, Hunter? Mm. <laughs> long, long time ago. <laughs> uh, um, no, actually, uh, 
like <laughs> singing Reapers, pre or <laughs> Reapers praises again. Wow, love that. Um, <laughs> the uh, anytime you actually like bounce a file, it automatically removes the metronome and stuff you didn't mean. So yeah, I've, 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 I haven't had that problem in a long time. I think the last time I had that problem was when I was uh, using Pro Tools still, but that was like Pro Tools ten, a long time ago. All right. Dos. Dos. Oh, whoops. Oh, is this going to be some confusing? Problem? Don says, hey, guys, if anyone was following up on this, I'm back home with my smoothie. It's pretty good. Pineapple <laughs> flavor would give it a solid 8.5 out of 10. Thanks, John. That means that mine's ready, or mine's here, because he was like, hey, I'm going to get Smoothie King, would you like one? I was like, oh my god, please, yes. <laughs> Dude, I could go for a mango smoothie right now, not gonna I lie. I could have a mango. <laughs> I could have a mango. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Alright, I gotta figure out how to loop this one. That is my favorite fruit flavor anything, chat. If it's mango flavor, I will... Any kind of drink like that, I will be all over. It's mango and peach for me. <clears throat> Peach is also very good. Mm. I think peach is my favorite flavor of like drinks and smoothies and things. And Mario characters. Yeah. As you so <laughs> angrily yelled at me for on the Patreon call yesterday. Sure did. <laughs> Dave says peach has no personality. And if you want all of his reasoning, you gotta subscribe to the Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> The the thumbnail for that Patreon video has the image of you go or of me going. Do you have anything to say to women, Dave? And I'm Dave sorry, is going, women. "I'm sorry, women." <laughs> I do love dried mango. Actually, Ashley bought me a nice bag of dried mangoes, um, and you haven't eaten it yet. I know I haven't. Um, but we were on a. Actually, it was when we went to. Um, on the St. Louis trip, because we're both, you know, I'm a writer on Lackadaisy and you work on the animation. And we went on a St. Louis trip for research. And you you just whipped out this little box of dried mangoes. I'm like, this is better than candy. <laughs> and I was, I was so happy. Um, yeah, when everybody went on that hike and you and I were like, no, fuck that. Because it was so directly we were just uphill. On a park bench eating mangoes. <laughs> yeah. Dave, what are your thoughts on Burn Notice? I love Burn Notice. And not, not just because Bruce Campbell is in it. It's just a good show. I forgot about that show, but I remember really liking it. Yeah. I don't remember a single thing that happened. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen that guy in anything. The oh, uh, Jeffrey, Jeffrey Donovan? Yeah. Yeah, what has he been in? Besides Burn Notice, I actually don't know. I'm sure like a couple other things. That's weird because he was like the leading man of that show and I really haven't seen him in anything else. He was in Sicario, I guess. Oh, really? Yeah, he plays JFK in the LBJ movie. What, really? <laughs> Which I didn't even know was a thing. Oh, wait, Rob Reiner did an LBJ movie? Woody Harrelson played LBJ, what the fuck? <laughs> I was having a brain blast. <laughs> oh, he's Machine Head and in Invincible for one episode. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, cool. for one episode, I guess. For one episode. Bruce Campbell should voice act in more stuff. I agree. I agree. And he if, should if, be in Farfetch. If they, I will say that that's the easy pick for me. Everybody's like, if you could have one celebrity in your show, yeah, that's easy. And there's <sighs> actually a character we had in mind for him that's a little bit different than what he usually plays, so. Yeah, Dave, four measures of 4-4 four, four, followed by a measure of 5-4. That's why that's weird. Yeah, it does change up. <clears throat> weird. Weird, weird. All right, cool. I think we've mostly got the little guitar bit, though. Let me uh, get some bass on here. Burn Notice oh. is your dad's favorite show. Your dad has good taste. Jeffrey Donovan has also done a few episodes of Law & Order. Most peop Most actors... Character actors, especially, have been on some kind of crime show. Uh, I remember, dude, I was doing like one of my random VHS streams a couple months ago, 
and we were watching a completely random episode of like NCIS New Orleans or something, and fucking uh, the guy who plays Mike Erman Trout just shows up as a villain in the episode, and I, I was so thrown off guard. Where I'm just like, what the hell? Mike from Breaking Bad is in this sh- this show. Nice. <laughs> Shout out to Every John does. <laughs> Fuck yeah! Yeah, <laughs> I got we, the we, um, Yeah, we've been re- we've been rewatching uh, Breaking Bad. We just got to the first Mike episode. Mike in, in I'm uh, Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul are two of my favorite shows of all time as a writer. Mike is my favorite character in that entire universe. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's one of my favorite. Like, if I had to make like a top twenty-five characters list of like just media, Mike Ermintrat would be on there. Walter. It's Walter. so much fun how Walter. like no nonsense. Hey, Put, your, Put your dick away, Walter. Put your dick away, Walter. <laughs> 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 all right. So, hey Vince, why are we filming all my scenes first? <laughs> <laughs> Me, King of the Rats. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> King of the Rats. <laughs> That's Dave asks himself every morning when he sees uh, I think, fucking I, I, Gizmo. I, I gotta feed Gizmo, yeah. He's like, me, King of the Rats. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't know they were creating a liminal space show, Kevin. No, Better Call Saul is over. It had a very good finale, too. If the rest of the Farfetch cast had little monsters like Kira, what would they be? That's a good question. It would just be Pokemon at that point. It really would just be. Uh, Piper would have some sort of cat, most likely, right? Some kind of like. I mean, I think it would just follow what their cat. favorite animals are. We yeah. have a comic coming out about that. Actually, we do. Uh, very cute. Quid would just have a beta fish fish on a leash that he drags <laughs> around. <laughs> oh, Candy Star! Would... I... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Quinn would have a fox. Piper would have a cat. Warren would have a cow, and Griff would have an army of trash creatures. Griff does canonically have a possum named Mud. Yeah, that's true. Mud would just get little fucking dragon wings and a dragon yeah. tail. That's a good name. That's a reference to Primus's My Name is Mud. Um, also, I if- have my I have my uh, Panda Express now. I'm happy. I can tell. Candy Spark, what about Gustavo Esposito? Giancarlo Esposito, I adore him. Gus is him. incredible. Also, no spoilers for Breaking Bad. Adam's not done with it yet. Okay, wait, time out, though. You you, you said, uh, who cares about spoilers for uh, Stranger Things, yeah, which is a year old. Yeah, but that's somebody who is here in the car. Breaking Bad is from 2005. Eat my it's ass, like, it's, Dave. It's like 15 years old. Sorry, I'm trying to be considerate for Adam. Hey, Ashley, they cook meth. Don't, don't spoil it. <laughs> Isn't what I think a retirement home for our generation is going to be like? <laughs> Just yelling like that, yeah. He's like, what do you mean, Stranger Things spoilers? It came out 50 years ago. Someone should draw Warren as Walter White and Griff as Jesse. Pretty you sweet. Hear, <laughs> you, know, you, hear, you hear that chat? I got homework for you. <laughs> Warren, we could. <laughs> uh, Griff, we need to cook. Steaks. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Webb is coming up. Yo, Mr. Weber, we. <laughs> Griff going science, bitch. That actually totally would. It would be like. Griff, we need to cook, and it's just them grilling. Yeah. Like a little charcoal grill. Yeah. Griff's grilling little tofus. You know what I think about it? Technically, Farfetch does happen at the same time Breaking Bad was airing. The late 2000s. Damn. Yeah, uh, Breaking Bad starts the year before our pilot takes place. 
Holy shit, dude. Which is oh. wacky. Night of Living Cookies asks, who would win, Quinn or Metaton? Well, Metaton is a like a ro powerful robot, even though he is, you know, as also, fabulous Quinn's as he a is. Bitch, so fucking Metaton would kick his ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. Quinn's a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I love that base walk up. Right. That sounds great. <laughs> now I gotta figure out what they do next. Uh, Pop Punk wants to know, Hunter, what drum sampler are you using? I'm using Superior Drummer 3. With Superior Drummer York 3. Studios Volume 1 STX. Yeah, the hard part about uh, fake drums is the mixing. Because, like, this is actually the mixing on the drums right here. I do oh, very wow. little of it. Yeah. <laughs> lots of compression, lots of EQ, <laughs> lots of all kinds of crap. And then, like, I route them out so that certain drums do interfere with the mics of others, but not all interfere with each other's. So, like, for instance, you want to keep the kick drum out of your cymbals because the way you, like, EQ cymbals is pair like diametrically opposed to the way you eq a kick drum you know yeah so yeah basically all these tracks in blue are the microphones that are on the quote-unquote drum set and then they filter into like categorical buses so like the kick drum has the kick in the inside mic because there's a kick in or a mic inside the kick drum the kick outside of the mic or uh, the mic outside of the kick, there we go. And then finally, there's something called a kick sub, which is like, um, imagine if somebody turned a big speaker into a microphone, and because of that, it's able to pick up really, really deep low frequencies. Um, <clears throat> and so those three microphones are what actually create your kick drum sound. So yeah, that, now imagine doing that for the snare drum, the toms, the what are called overheads, and then... You actually have additional microphones that are spread throughout the hypothetical space, like room, that this drum set was recorded in. And so you can imp increase and decrease the amount of like room reverb and stuff like that that's interacting with the drums. So, yeah, what you get is something that sounds like pretty darn real at the end of all that. Mm. And that's my spiel. <laughs> um, John, uh, our, our very own John asks, <clears throat> what if Warren had a win you, if you win, when, if you, when, if, when, if you, win, if, <laughs> when, 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 if, because, because if, when you, when you, when you, if you, bass guitar. I think I think my roommate's having a stroke. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a completely so unreasonable that, request. Please take, ban take, John from chat. Take smaller sips of that smoothie, John. <laughs> Brain freeze. <laughs> Fair. Oh, let's see. All right. Sir Eggnog says, love the sketch doodle thumbnail you have for this vid. Yeah, I actually had a lot of fun doing the uh, layout for this. Oh, no, I think they're talking about the thumbnail that Strad drew. The thumbnail's really cool. I meant to say oh, that, by the it way. Awesome. It feels yeah. like a single frame from Footy Cootie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so uh, I so drew that, drew that uh, from our last stream, uh, and I was like, yeah, I'll keep it. Some it's rando cute. named Michael Kovach says, bruh. <laughs> Hello, Michael. Thank you for Dang the food, it. honey. It's delicious. Thanks for nothing. Michael, Michael. <laughs> Adam also says, thank you for the food, honey. 
Des Dave says thanks for nothing. <laughs> Oh, since Michael's here, somebody asked, uh, did you build your bed frame yet? Oh, no, I, I'll be fair. Michael's in a bit of a rock and a hard place right now because we need to fucking do some more contractor work, and that might require moving a bunch of furniture around. Yeah. Much easier to not have to move an extra bed frame around. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you for not putting that until uh, put that together until that's done. Yeah. But guys, we're gonna have new windows. We're not hey, gonna live in a. Nice. We're not gonna have storm shelter windows anymore. <laughs> Our windows suck so much. Well, also your like, uh, what is it? Like your utilities will probably go down just because oh, yeah. better. Good bed. Yeah. We 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 barely are able to keep the heat in this house. It has to run so much. Yeah. We also won't die during the summer now. Yeah. yeah. We can keep our windows a little bit open. And let air flow through. Without worrying about a cat running. Oh, yeah, that's the biggest problem, is the windows don't have any screens, and they're all single pane. Yeah, all so, of our windows are yeah. single pane and just open straight to the outside. Aww. So we can't open them, So because the, the cats will just jump out. But we're getting new shit everywhere. That's terrible. Uh, Night of Living Cookies asks, when are you going to sell Papa's Real Ice Cream in real life? So, actually, and I, no joke, if the show, if, if the pilot is successful and the show takes off, we have this idea to, like, if we were to go to cons, to do, like, a fake, like, side of the truck and bring yeah, the have cons a fake and Papa sell Swirl merch exterior. out of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or if you want to pay us thirty thousand dollars, we'll buy a real ice cream <laughs> and turn it into that. There's somebody that, that can just be what you use to go to cons. There's somebody yeah. who lives down the street from us that has a truck that looks exactly like the Papa Swirl truck. Yeah, it's just, just missing. Work. It's yeah. just it's just missing the head, and it needs some work. And some and decals, I, but not be fun. But like that's like our quote unquote tour van to different cons. Yeah. If I had unlimited money, I would knock on their door and be like, "How much? Give it to me." And then they're like, I need unlimited money. And you're like, well, that's exactly what I have. <laughs> what a show. What a deal. You're going to get an actual ice cream truck to do this? No, 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 no. <laughs> that would be if we that's were making millions dream. of dollars. Yeah, that's yeah. a pipe dream. That is that, like that if the show is national, you know. But uh, what we would probably do is get like a big banner that just goes over the front mm -hmm. of our table. Like just a cloth banner that goes over the front of our table. That uh, would look like the side of Papa Swirl. Uh, yeah, and sell merch through that at our little guest or vendor table or whatever we have. <laughs> a a thirty dollar thirty thousand dollar truck versus a ten dollar banner. Yeah, one is much more reasonable and doable than the other. It'd be fun to give out like little far fetched themed treats and like merch, selling it out of the van. Gosh, I didn't know the idea was that bad. Jesus. Oh, wait, Adam, I got it. Don't worry. Sorry, I'm... <laughs> Sounds terrible. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Guys, Laser guys. focused over here. Guys, I'm guys. fucking oh, scarfing down panda. Wait, everybody, everybody, shush. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. More weirdness. More weirdness. Love that. Peace, guys. I don't like it when music is weird. Make it normal. I really don't, man. <laughs> Sometimes it just bothers me. Let's like, uh, I don't know, when like, uh, you've got four circular pegs and five holes in front of you to put them in. Fuck. You know what I mean? Like, ah, man, come on. All you had to do is just make one less. That's all you had to do. And it could, it could have just been even, and that could have been cool. But no, we had to do this instead. <laughs> I don't know. The trick is figuring out how this just turns into four. I think I 
did something weird, maybe. <laughs> oh, I Adam, see. Adam, I think we can hear you eating. Oh, I, 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 no, I just found it off. Sorry. Oh, okay. Because it was picking up my chair and everything. Oh. Yeah, Chris Masks acts really weird for you sometimes. I want to just my mic. I have a little cheapo Razer mic mm -hmm. for just Discord. That could be it. Crayola says, Ashley, I love your PNG tuber. No, thank you. I like her too. I was, I was saying it'd be funny if. The human doesn't talk, but the little rabbit does. I was just about to say, I kind of wish I like rigged it so that the little plush honey talks, but the big person just doesn't say anything. Yeah. I like tiny bunny-ish. My Aww. friend who played in a band would love this. I hope so. What The coolest thing, I think, is the fact that like it's really cool that not only can we say we have our own animated show but we have our own rock band and that's just kind of cool right yeah like we're seeing gorillas that's yeah. a great way to put it that's yeah. a great i will take that you know we're, we're chimps oh man i messed that up Stylus says, I'm not really into heavy metal or rock music, but the show might change my mind. I'm excited to see what far will become. And I'm so happy to be along for the ride. Well, we're happy you're along for the ride. Thank you. Imagine an episode now where Quinn keeps shitting on this other band because they're not even real and they're called the Chimps. And he's like, what? Well, they're not even <laughs> real people. Why do you like their music so much? And it, it Chimps ends with a Z. Yes. <laughs> They're dressed like the monkeys for some reason. <laughs> Damn it. I hate it when I just come, like, miss one little thing at the end. Can Dave have his gun back? No. He has to earn it back. Oh yeah, I need my... That's what, I, what You see, my character has his hands in the front pocket, the gun's in there. <laughs> waiting to come out. Stick him up. This is a robbery. He's, 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 he's holding me up like he's trying to escape the stream and took me hostage. <laughs> Wait, don't you, don't you move, Adam. You little bear motherfucker. I look really sleepy yeah. for being <laughs> threatened. You're tired now from all the hostaging. Ugh, oh, can't just go home, dude. They're not actually going to give you a helicopter. <laughs> Damn it, I keep missing that. I did it fine two times in a row earlier. Now you know how speedrunners feel. Yes, Adam. Now I do. Good. Hunter. Yes, ma'am. Mostly what we're getting through is the drums. Do we want to turn the, turn the drums down a little bit? Oh, sorry. I didn't realize that. All right. Let me, uh... Michael asked, should, should we respond to that one fan that wanted to give us a discount on guns? It's been like two years. <laughs> I still want my purple gun, damn it. There we go. 
Adam or Michael, if you are listening, can one of you grab my teriyaki sauce out of the fridge? No. The little um, bottle I can of, grab like, it. teriyaki sauce. Thank you. Michael's on, yeah, Michael's on a 40-minute delay, so I'll get it real quick. <laughs> <laughs> race, boys, race. There we go. I hate that snare drum. It's the worst. Makes me want to go do something else. Um. All right. Let's see what other parts. So something I had considered earlier was actually having like either an acoustic guitar or a so we could go two different ways i could make like um a reinforcing track over these verses okay that whole thing that part yeah um in which it's just kind of like a a bit of a slightly grittier rock guitar kind of strumming said chords behind it, those chords being arpeggiated like they are now um, another thought I had was maybe have like acoustic guitar strumming behind them or something like Ooh, that. Ooh, that could sound kind of cool. Third thing, though, would be, do you think adding that might uh, take away room from the other elements of this arrangement that we're going to have to introduce later, like organ and mm, that's... possibly strings, maybe, or something like that, you know? That's a, that's a good point. Um... Because we don't want to overdo it. Mm -hmm. um, hmm. The acoustic sound could be cool, but at the same time, I do agree where it's like maybe we should keep it stripped down a little bit just in case. Because if it if if the the synth and strings and stuff come in and fill it out yeah. enough to not overdo it, so maybe keep it a little stripped down for now. Okay. Until cool. Adam, you know, puts his... Kind of gets a pass at it or something like that. Or yeah, maybe I add a little more. Yeah, put the spice on it. And then... Gotta get the sauce on there. Yeah, Silas, yeah, we're... Uh, we're the, the next cover we're doing is Don't Fear the Reaper. That's what we're working on. Mind if I give this a, give this a little play? Gonna, yeah. I think I'm going to use the restroom real quick. That smoothie went straight through. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, yeah, let me give it a little play. Oh, Does a smoothie make, make you pee or poop? Probably matters what's in it. If it's fibrous. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure. I just know it tastes good. I'm like, cause, cause a smoothie is like that. That's like the same thing with like ice cream. Like, in anything like that. The question is, does it make you pee or poop? Because it's technically a frozen liquid. Uh, I think. This I would is, imagine this it is melts a weird once it. To get into. I think <laughs> pee is just water with urea in it. Yeah. And would a few you trace, call me? A few trace chemicals. So I think smoothies and ice cream make you shit mostly. Okay. Mm, okay. Okay. Like if I if I was in like the Arctic tundra and I just took a big bite out of a glacier, that would, would turn I... into pee. Okay. Because that's okay. water. Yeah, there's no like fibers or proteins or nothing in there. Yeah. Unless you're eating a frozen mammoth or something. Uh, besides Piper and Griff, is anyone else from Testimony going to sing? Yes. In fact, if you listen to our Terror Time cover, Warren sings during the middle part, the, all the, uh, the creepy part. And then also. Um, is it fair to say that everybody but Quinn can sing? Yeah. Yeah, everybody but Quinn can sing. Which is really funny. Because, because he's the leader of the band. Ooh. Base seems to be cleaned up there a little bit. 
probably smooth out that transition too. This is sounding great. What do you think, Ashley? Hold on, I'm eating my fortune cookie. That's fair. If the fortune better say this song is sounding good. <laughs> this shit <year> slaps. <laughs> that's gonna be the fun Your part. lucky you, numbers are. <laughs> when you get to put the solo over that stuff, that's gonna be the fun part. Oh yeah, uh, that'll probably be... That'll definitely be, like, next stream or the stream after. If oh, we yeah. continue doing these on on stream. <laughs> Lucretia says, so Quinn is Murdoch, but pretty. Yes. That is very you, accurate. No, I won't take this Murdoch slander. Murdoch is the most beautiful person <laughs> in all of fucking Gorillas. So it's gorillas. an insult to... <laughs> it's right. more of an insult to Murdoch than to Quinn. Dang. Um, Tell us how you really feel, Ashley. <laughs> Murdoch is beautiful and disgusting, and I love him. <laughs> It always also, weirds me out when I hear Murdoch talk because that voice does not like look like it comes out of that character yeah. design. He sounds like a fucking dork. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love Murdoch so much. I mean, uh, 2D also right. sounds like a dork though. What are you let's, say? let's see what my fortune cookie says about the song. Okay. <laughs> uh, my fortune cookie says about the "Don't Fear the Reaper" cover. Your love life will be happy and harmonious. I guess few, I guess a few few people are gonna get it on to this cover. If okay. You, if you decide when this covers out, if you decide to uh, you know do the do the nasty dance to it, let us know oh at, on Twitter. <laughs> at oh, I, show. I don't. I, th I think um, my fortune is telling us to release it as is because it says it is wise to follow your first choice. <laughs> oh no. Release the song. Cut it. We're done. Now, now. Go, go. No. <laughs> oh, what are the names of all the characters? Okay. Silas. So Okay, well, shit. I wish I had a reference photo. There was one right there. The singer, the little the little guy in the little messy guy in the sweatshirt is Griff. The guitarist uh, is Piper. Uh, the keyboardist is is uh, Rue. The bassist is Warren, and the drummer is Quinn. And they have a little dog named dog Kira. named Kira. Who's a weird tar dragon sparkle dog the mask, the mask thing. Up. Will Quinn ever sing? Period. We, we do have an idea for when he tries to at one point. Um, I don't want to spoil it, though. You will probably hear Quinn sing at some point. He can only, he can only sing, like, falsetto opera. 
She has like a gorgeous small child's voice. <laughs> yeah, villains ask this might be this might be edging into spoiler territory. But what do the four members of the band think of Rue with uh, well Kira? Sorry, when Rue introduced them. So uh Griff and Piper are all accepting of Kira. Warren is a bit weirded out, and Quinn is just like, uh, fine, you know, if you're gonna as long as you play play keys, bring her along, I guess. As long as you do your part, I don't care. Yeah. And then Chloe, to day, up... Chloe to this day still thinks it's a small purple child. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Oh my god! Ashley, mm -hmm. we were just talking about this the other day. Kitty Dude asks, will y'all make some kind of fake band tour t-shirt? Yes, that is literally on our merch <laughs> list right that, now. Yes, that is... I have one for the Wild Stallions villain Ted band. That's awesome. Yeah, no, we 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 were just talking about doing that. Yeah, making fake little tour shirts would be cute. Can I say at all the other tiny little thing we're thinking about doing, or should I not? Sure, go for it. We're thinking about possibly making a set of six guitar picks you can buy with each of the characters' faces on them. Hell yeah! Dude. We found that would be a source like, for that finally. A little, a really cheap bundle of six of them that you can get guitar picks that you could actually play with. Yeah, they'll be legit guitar picks. Like, they won't just yeah. be for show. You can actually use them. But if you want to punch a hole through and make a necklace out of a baby. Yep. Yeah, you could make like a necklace or like a key, uh, like a charm bracelet or or use them to pick or play. Oh, um. Actually, um, Dari asked, when is the store opening back up? Uh, we're not sure yet. We gotta sort a few things out before that can happen. Yeah. Ooh, I like that tone of the guitar there. Yeah, I, li I like right. that because this this is the spot I would want actually the the, the heavier tone to be before this we could straight up do thing. power chords there and instead of like this we could do oh, or that, is that yeah, too no, far I mean this would I... be this would be the part this would be the <laughs> section for it I would want actually to Dave fight it out go <laughs> slightly too far but I mean. Would it be too much trouble for you to try that, Hunter? Like, maybe just no. do two variants? Yeah, no, just no. it. Yeah. Give me just a minute on that. I will say, it's funny, the first three notes you played with that... Yeah. That da-da-da... Yeah. It, it's freaking... It's the, it's the exact opening of Hail to the King by... No. Um, so Mo Mochi, oh, there probably will never be any other characters that join the band, but there are plenty of other characters in Farfetch that, like, are around Sesamoid, like Reagan, Quota, Drake, you know, yeah. Ray Kors asks, which person in the show would play Power Watch Simulator religiously? Warren, he only plays games where he can just work <laughs> virtually. <laughs> he, he, loves, like, those, he loves those German games. He loves those German like forklift logistics simulators and stuff. I, I love the idea of, of Warren inside playing Power Watch Simulator and then going outside and hosing off the mud of the truck at, right after. He's like, I need to take a break, and he's like doing the same thing in game. Yeah. Warren goes home from work so he can pretend to be at work. <laughs> so, uh, Mochi, Drain is his own musician. He goes under the stage name Drain. That's not his actual name. Haha. -ha. You don't know it yet. Um, 
His name's but, Dwayne. He's like he, he's like he's like like <laughs> Skrillex kind of where he's his own thing, you know. But he's, but he's horror, Skrillex. but he does work with vocalists. I will say that he he has on his tracks. May or may not be making a drain song with a vocalist. I'm gonna say a lot of you are probably fans of now. A lot. If this I, knew shows, I, I will say if this shows how hard we're working for you freaks. Not only are we making the animated show and the Sesamoid songs and the comics, we're also making a Drain song. <laughs> yeah. So don't expect too many Drain songs, though. No, we're just trying to build this universe so that when the actual show comes out, people will watch it. They're also not like, <laughs> why is there any? Why is there all this Sesamoid music but nothing else? <laughs> all right, let's do the other version. Robert says, I feel like Quid would hide the fact he likes ASMR like it's a drug addiction. Yeah. <laughs> As you should. It's gross. And now we're going to uh, rub our hands through our hair. Just like that. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, sorry. <laughs> uh. We're going to take the little straw and go. The ASMR uh. Quinn likes is like that makeup ASMR where they just like tap their really long creepy fingernails on the uh. different like makeup palettes and shit. Oh yeah. I can see that. Alright, let's see. Okay. I'm probably gonna have to do these separately just because, like, moving around power cords like that is a yeah, butt that's pain. Fine. Oh, kitty dude, it's funny you ask that because uh, the creator of Vamp Sabbath is our character designer. Yeah. <laughs> if that makes a lot of sense, Max Monroy. Uh, he is our, our character designer and he also does comics for us. He's our art lead, basically. Yeah. So, you know, having Vamp Sabbath crossover would not be, I don't think, an impossible thing for, like, a ba Battle of the Bands thing. Okay, Ashley, that sounds kind of cool, though. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it would come to that. I mean, this is, isn't this, like, the general, like, pinnacle of dynamic, though? It is, it, 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 that's what I'm saying. It's This is, like, the, the hard, like, the, the, the peak that this song goes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hello. I need to figure out what these are. Christopher Niosi says hello. Hello, Chris. We are making the music. Uh, we doing big music. Shout out to Max, who is awesome as fuck. Max is awesome as fuck. Yeah, massive, massive shout out to Max. He's awesome. You, you were going to say Max. No, I just can't speak properly. <laughs> Silas, is, pe is Quinn the pale one with the long black and blue hair? Yes. Yes. <laughs> That's correct. The oh, one that boy. everybody thinks is a ghost. Oh, God. You <laughs> 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 All right. Don't ask for a Buddy Holly cover. You're not getting it. <laughs> what about saying it in so? I will not go. Turn the lights off. Carry me home. Okay, we can get away with that. Wait. It's a... I want to hear Kirk go hip hip. It sounds like you're playing hip, that. Hip. The, what's that? What's that one song? That da 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 da. Oh god, what's it called? Um, I'm so good with song names. And... Uh, Beethoven's Fifth. <laughs> Shut I'll, up, Hunter. I, I'll 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 strangle your singular neck. <laughs> Thank you. Your well, headless okay. neck. My small teddy bear neck. 
<laughs> Full of fluff and stuff. Damn it. Such a weird transfer. Dang it. <laughs> I keep getting the wrong one. You can do it. All right, just gotta get one more of them suckers. Everyone send your positive energy into Hunter's brain I'm now. I'm gonna fight you, Adam. <laughs> Everyone go Hunter, Hunter. Hunter, Hunter. <laughs> Humbo, Brumbo. Right, cool. What what ELO song would you like to cover? ELO. What like ELO song? It's a yeah, it, it's a living thing. It's like a Mr. Mr. Blue Sky and stuff. Oh. Is Island in the Sun on the table? No. Hip, hip. No. <laughs> I hate that song. How about, how about Hash Pipe? That's, it's a really but, easy oh, yeah. song. I will do the whole cover of that song for five dara. That one. <laughs> Literally, it's the same riff the entire time. Can't go wrong. So that's that's the one, you know. Yeah, that's yeah. The, what the first one's gonna say? Oh wait. Oh, oh my God, Pe Peaches by President of the United States. By Jack Black? Uh, yeah. No, no. Peaches, 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 peaches. I love you. Ah. So I think given the fact that we're going to have like a screaming guitar solo over this, it might be smarter to just do singular notes like the, that the, instead of the chords. Bit, yeah, I, I, I will say now I don't think about because there is going to be a wailing guitar solo going. That's probably a good point. They've just got too much oomph behind them. And it's yeah. really, yeah. I was thinking, I wasn't thinking three dimensionally. You gotta think of how it fits all together like a puzzle. All right. Okay, fucker. Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, you gotta think about how it fits all together. <laughs> Mochi, Griff is just really good vibes. Griff has never touched a drug or alcohol in his life. He a lot of... Sorry, I don't think ahead. Griff knows what those things are. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> now, Griff has been drugged, but by ingesting things like grilk and paint. Not not, <laughs> not weed and alcohol. Um, yeah, he gets that's... drugged by natural things like lead paint. Yeah. Um, a lot of people think Griff is a stoner when he's known... If he did drugs, it would probably turn him normal. <laughs> like, a good way to we, put gotta, that. <laughs> we gotta have him do weed at least once and have him just be like, hello guys, how are you all doing today? Like he accidentally ate one of Clota's gummies or yeah. something like that? <laughs> Clota gave him a fucking weed brownie. He has like, he has like this very like, greetings friend, are you ready greetings to partake in the musicianship this afternoon? Like, what the fuck did you get into? Like, Let's mosey like on out. <laughs> it's the one episode of Flapjack where he's like a oh little proper gentleman. Wait, wait, Dave, when fucking Griff gets high, he turns into Fred from Scooby-Doo. Oh my god. Gang, let's go to the malt shop. Yeah. I would love <laughs> that. Oh my god. Have him oh. be voiced by a fucking... Oh god, what is his name? Voice of Fred and Scooby. Frank Welker. Yeah. Have him be voiced by Frank Welker all of a sudden. Wait, let's go to the malt shop. Uh, we have Froyo. Everybody be like, what the fuck is malt? The, the, the gang try to hold him down and force feed Grilk into his mouth to turn him back to normal. <laughs> we have to make you normal again. <laughs> There's like a funnel. Like, <laughs> well, golly gee, guys, I don't know what all this hubbub's about. 
Does Rue have a sad backstory? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Like I said on, I don't know if this Tumblr ask is out yet, but I was ask, uh, I was answering asks the other day, and one of them was just like, "Wait, why does Rue have all these really fucked up sad songs on her playlist?" And I was just like, eh, "I have to apologize <laughs> to Rue daily for what we're going to do to her." <laughs> Wow, Griff, did you eat my forever weed brownie? <laughs> I, I love that. That is it bad that like I've seen more of those comics of My Little Pony those than I've ever seen the show? Those fucking comics are probably the best thing to come out of My Little Pony. <laughs> Stop giving trauma to the characters, but it's so much fun. <laughs> It's so much fun to take your own real trauma and dump it into animated freaks. I grab all the far-fetched characters and I squish their faces and I go, I'm sorry, but it's for your own good. Piper and Quinn probably get together to watch RuPaul's Drag Race. Oh, they would, would love it. Um... It's not funny you guys are psychopaths, I'm sorry. <laughs> Listen to Laura Draws. Quinn and Warren do not hate each other. They are friends. They're just stuck in this situation where they have to be mom and dad to this little group of freaks. Oh, they definitely hate each attention. other, but they hate each other in the way that, you know, friends do. Yeah. Listen, if anything actually happened to Quinn or Warren, the other one would be very, very sad. But they can't the act like that in front of the, the kids. Fucking world apart. They can't act like that in front of the kids. Mm, gotta figure out how do I wanna get back. Get back. Get back to where you once belong. So Turkey Bird can... says, Dave, I learned you were a butcher. What did you work with most? Because I've learned to process my own deer lately. So when I worked, I worked for eight years. Um... A uh, butcher at a meat market in an Italian grocery store in Louisiana, where we would mostly get um, basically whole slabs of parts. So, like, we never, I probably would have been more freaked out if we had gotten like whole animals. That only happened very sparingly. We mostly just got shipments of whole parts that we had to trim and cut up and serve. Um, so, it was a lot of like roasts and, you know, bone roasts and steaks and stuff but we had to deal a lot with uh my job was dealing a lot with knives saws and grinders and mainly um yeah that's an interesting job wind voiced by mel brooks Ashley Adam? Mm hmm Oh, it's seeing you're still alive. I'm alive. Hello. Matsumi asked Dave, tell us your favorite funny sounding cleaver thingy you used. Okay, this is a true story. I found this out from my boss that the knives we mostly use to trim the skin off of roasts and stuff, the, the technical name of it is a six-inch boner. <laughs> what? That's not, a, that's that's not a joke. That's the technical name of that type of butcher knife used. That's so. perfect. <laughs> no notes. 
That's what it do. All right. Yeah. Well, that's fire. <laughs> All right. We've got a few more Kofi donations Kofi. to read out. Uh, if you guys want to help support us, uh, there is a Kofi link down in the description mm. and pinned to the chat. So if you would like to donate just a few dollars and help us out, uh, uh, we would all appreciate it. Uh, but first up, we've got Alistair Bone Man, who says, are any of you fans of Sabaton? Oh, Sabaton. They are a band. metal band. Yeah. They are a metal band. Oh, okay. Uh, I mean, I like one of their songs, sure. <laughs> I'm I... familiar with them. I am not. I don't remember the last time I like listened to them. I don't know. Suggest who they something are, but for I will, me. I will check them out. Yeah, chat. Suggest. Make some suggest suggestions from Sabaton. And then next up, we've got. Oh no. <sighs> next up, we've got Kim Bruum, who has two questions. Right. Number one is, if Sesamoid were a Power Ranger team, what would their morpher look like? Like, 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 like I, I'm about to say, yeah, it probably would be like... It would just be a like, giant Kira. Like, giant Ultra God form No, Kira. you know what it would be? Huh? It would be like a combination of, like, Kira with, like, Papa Swirl somehow. Oh, yeah, big How, Kira like, some... Swirl. Big monster Gundam thing. Yeah. Big monster Gundam. Papa Swirl. That'd be cool. Yeah. And then their second question is Can everyone in the stream say, oh, Ashley? No. <laughs> These aren't those streams. <laughs> Wrong stream. Yeah. You gotta pay each of us individually. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your donation, though. I'll, I'll give you a no, Ashley. No. <laughs> no, Ashley. No, Ashley's worse. <laughs> no, Ashley makes me feel like I messed up and I'm bad. No, it just sounds like you'd vanish. No, Ashley. No, Ashley. Oh. Ah! <laughs> that reminds me of, like, one of my all-time favorite dumb edits of, uh, it's it's when uh in Infinity War, when Thanos goes, you should have gone for the hand. When he goes mm -hmm. to snap it, and you just hear that one fish from SpongeBob go, you what? And then you he just what? snaps. And then like, <laughs> oh, wait, wait, hold on. Somebody, somebody say no, Ashley again. No, Ashley. <laughs> oh. All I heard was Ashley cough and then went quiet. Gone. You guys killed Ashley. Good job. Don't fear the Reaper, Ashley. He's coming. Ashley is now dead. <laughs> this dream is mine. Ha. Uh, did right, I at all? <laughs> Keep everybody company. I've got to pee really bad. Farfetched <laughs> really has Bro, no that smoothie production. is fucking you up. Farfetched doesn't No, see, have I said that earlier, head. and then I... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, no, what you were saying was making me laugh. I wasn't complaining. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, no, I was saying, like, I realize now that I said... I made a point about that smoothie running through me, and then I never actually did anything about it. Oh no. Just went right back to hyperfixation. Uh, oh, actually oh. literally died. Her, her her fucking character's gone. Oh no. Uh oh. Hope she didn't DC or something like that. Uh, Wait. Uh, okay. Uh. Oh, I right, couldn't there we go. breathe in the other dimension. Uh, oh god. <laughs> uh, she was in the upside down or whatever I it's went, called in Star Trek. Uh, I couldn't breathe in there. It was so dark. But she just blared please, Kate Bush and ran away. Please never send me back. It was so scary. Yes, Ashley. Uh, oh, thank you. Now I can stay. <laughs> Running up that hill made a deal with God. <laughs> <laughs> Wish I could swap our places. You're running up the hill. Yeah, yeah I was trapped in the Zubal hole. <laughs> Hunter went to oh, the there's a cover idea. Which one? 
running up that hill. Yes. Yeah. Please. It's on Warren's playlist. Oh, yeah. I also noticed on Griff's playlist that one clown core songs every other song. Yeah, I actually did that. Yeah. That was on purpose. I sure, I sure that song, like, maybe this could be fun on Griff. It's like, what if I made every... And she's like, what if I made every other song that? Mm-hmm. I added uh, The Wanderer yesterday to Griff's playlist. Oh, mm. good. I'm the type of guy who ever won around. <laughs> like that one, yeah. I'm trying to feed, actually, some, some tunes for Reagan. Yeah, you yeah, need to pick your brain more about some Reagan songs. I put... I, I must say, I put six of them in there and, like, six in the Clota ones, so... Any non-spoiler notes for Zubel you can tell us about? Uh... They are in the show? At one point, they say the word, hello. At one point, they are Zubel. A bunch of people have been asking me lately if I could just share the audio of Zubel trapped in the Zubel hole. <laughs> I need to ask Glitch, is like, hey, can I, is it kosher for me to share that? Because it was fun. Goose the other day on Tumblr, because she posts a lot on there, just shared a bunch of, like, Darley Boxman lines that weren't used. <clears throat> oh, nice. <laughs> Any spoiler notes you can tell us about? No! <laughs> I like my I like having my job. Uh, yeah. I can drop spoilers for Farfetched because it's my baby and I can fuck it up all I want, but You can do whatever we want to this. Digital Circus eh. is Glitch and Zubel's baby. <laughs> or not Zubel's baby, Goose's baby. But they're both Wait. triangle heads. Ashley, not a living cookie says Farfetched Universe has six inch boner as a band instead of nine inch nails. <laughs> It's canon. I deem it canon. It, 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 it's Trent Rizzler. <laughs> Trent Rizzler? Brent Rizzler. Brent Rizzler. Brent Sounds like a dork. Rizzler. I hate Brent Rizzler. I'll kill him. Gooseworx has a gun to Ashley's head right now. Crazy eyes and everything. Instead of the downward spiral, it's the upward spiral. Goose is just very gently. Anything. Goose is very gently. Don't do it, Ashley. Don't do it. No, don't. Don't do it. The way Goose talks too is just like, Ashley. If you do that, I'll kill you. <laughs> she has such a gentle voice. <laughs> it really for how is chaotic. Very tall. She is. It's so funny. <laughs> the fact she plays Bubble is what we should always find really funny. It's so good. <laughs> She wow, so I'd good be, as Bubble. I love the, oh, wow, I'd become a pin if it were to find more. <laughs> and then it just disappears. Uh, I, like, I like the pain, like when Pomni's turning, she goes, Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> like, there's a very, very small whimper she turns into. It. When do I get more merch? I want to be, I want to be a plushie, please. This is a great question from Fizzy Dizzy. Do any of the Sess Point band members go to church? <laughs> they no, should. Warren, Warren might have They need to. <laughs> <laughs> what what if Cloda for because she's uh she's Irish maybe Irish Catholic forced Quinn to go to church at one point. <laughs> I would like, that a lot. Quinn, like, Grandma, you said you're Grandma, you said you're an atheist. Yeah, but I'm a Catholic atheist. <laughs> <laughs> Quinny, you've got to repent for your sins. <laughs> Quinny, get to church. Oh. Clota, you broke somebody out of jail last week. Yeah, but I'm a Catholic atheist. That's, that's the Irish way. What do you mean? <laughs> that's, the, that's the Irish way. I have an idea. That's the Irish way. It's like, Clota, you got you dropped acid at a bar and repr- uh, the last weekend and broke someone out of prison. Yeah, but I went to confession. <laughs> like, uh, it's like it's like we're going to church is like taxes, sir. Like, yeah. like I just gotta do this and like, okay, cool. I'm not in trouble now. Cool. If they brought Kira into a church, it would probably end like adventricular. I, I... Yeah. There we go. Oh, you know what, MH? That's not a bad suggestion. Mm-hmm. Uh, for Warren's playlist, I'm in love with my car by Queen. <laughs> That's actually a pretty good That's suggestion. Good That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> Warren's in a toxic marriage with fucking Papa Swirl. Papa Swirl. 
I like the one the one thing I liked about the Bohemian Rhapsody movie is how they've had the entire band gang up on Roger Taylor for writing that song. He's like, oh, we're yeah. trying to make cool music, and you're like, I would love with my car. Shut up, Roger. He's like, what do you mean? It's a fun song. Leave me alone. Listen, I want to ride my bicycle. <laughs> I want to ride my bicycle. I want to ride my bike. Roger Taylor was the hottest of the all of Queen, but he made the dumbest songs. <laughs> it's kind of like it's kind of like Ring, the Ringo of the group a little bit, where it's like oh, like, he's <laughs> way better drummer than Wingo though. <laughs> Wingo. Wingo. <laughs> well, at least R Ringo just wanted to have fun making shit like Yellow Submarine. He had, he had an affinity with the sea, like Yellow Submarine and Octopus's Garden, and so I just want to be in the butt of the ocean. What's a rope? See Sam, our, Sam, our social media and project manager, says that's a good far-fetched episode. The gang goes to church. <laughs> we like the always we sunny music at the start. All right, okay. That would guess. really be funny if it was like we recreate. Someone could reanimate that scene with Warren Griffin uh, Quinn when, when Mac, Charlie, and Dennis go to church. Quinn would definitely be Jax. Yeah, Quinn and Jax are similar in a lot of ways. Quinn is not as mean as Jax, though. No. Jax he's, would be he's... like if Quinn just gave in to all of his intrusive thoughts. Yeah. Quinn at heart is still a people pleaser. Jax yeah. is, does not give Jax a shit. Jax does not fucking yeah, care. Quinn's very fake, but again, people pleaser. Yeah. yeah. Sam says I Jax feel is like they hate each other. Oh, they would. They they buddy like they the one person that Quinn as friends trying to run like fucking scams and like shit together, and then they would just turn on each other so fast. And no matter what Quinn does, he cannot like get to Jax in any way. Yeah. Like, unbothered. He's too powerful. Jax unbothered, moisturized in his lane. He's very much. Oh, he's not he's in his lane. lane. He's in everyone else's lanes. He is a he is a he is a decommissioned Humvee just crashing <laughs> into everything. Also, uh, Kuneho asks question: Will there be more far fetched work streams in the future? Yes, there will be. Yeah. Maybe even oh, some more music work streams. Music work streams, animation work streams, comic work. We're going to try to do a little, little bit of everything. Yeah. And we also would like to bring on, as you see, like like beautiful Hunter here's here today. We want to bring on, oh, I guess Adam too. Um, nah. we wanna, Thank you. We, we want to bring on different members of the team for different stuff. Yeah. So you guys can meet. I mean, hell, um, sometimes we might even just do game streams on here. Like just yeah, that could be the Farfetch'd crew playing fucking stupid video games. Oh, we should do Jackbox. Or we should Diver. do Mario Party. Oh, God. Make our team hate each other. <laughs> All right, fucking Hunter Smoothie's running through me now. Beer, beer. Oh, no. <laughs> I've, I've said before, someone asked about the Beatles. If we were to ever do a Beatles cover, I think a very good song for Griff to sing is uh, I Get By With A Little Help From My Friends. That'd be a really fun pop punk cover, too. Yeah, which is another Ringo song. <laughs> um, it's one of my favorites from the Beatles. Mm -hmm. Is there a bad Beatles song? Yeah, there's a lot of bad Beatles songs. Oh, what would you say is a bad one? Maybe that's a hot take. <laughs> wild, wild, that's a hot take. I was gonna say, well, Wild Honey Pie is shit. I Back in the USSR is a stupid song, and I hate it. That's a good opener, though. Yeah, song. Uh, we're we're saying though, Dave. Sorry, uh, that's I don't have a, a hot take. And you're right. We're, we're talking about hot takes. Okay. Yeah, and I don't have a strong opinion about that one. That one's like a very background. Whenever they try to go hard, I always think they're a little lame. Yeah, I don't know. I just uh, that that song's really dumb and weird to me. And like, I don't know. People laud it as like this genius, like work of pure brilliance. It's just like it, it's just well, it's not. It's of... not that. I think it's just at the time their celebration of like, oh, cool, we went to Russia. Yeah. It's more of a celebration. 
than anything. Everyone loves Russia these days. Yeah. That Putin guy, everybody loves him. Oh. Uh, John says Hunter owes me a pizza. Seven years ago, he threw it down the stairs. I will not let this go. Is there a story for this? Did you did you Walter White eat a first pizza? First of all, down the first stairs? of all, this was not John's pizza. This was my pizza. I uh, oh I uh, oh my god, no, no, this was. Oh, I know exactly what he's talking about. I lived in an apartment complex on the second floor. And it was those, like, steps where, like, there is no, there's nothing in between the slats you step on, you know? Uh Uh-huh. And I was running up the stairs because I was freaking starving, and I had a full pizza in my hand. I had just gotten back from picking it up, and I, like, I basically fell going up the stairs in flip-flops. Oh, no! And just perfectly deposited the large pizza box in between the two slats. And it just flew down the hallway of the floor below it. And it must have been like 12 feet past the stairs. But yeah, as soon as that pizza box landed, it just flung open and like absolutely released the pizza all over the first floor. Also, you might, have, you might have flung a pizza onto the webcam because you've gone dark. Oh, my my camera might be just, like, dead. It's been, like, three hours. Yeah. thought it has been, like, One three second. hours. Revolution number nine. Yeah, that's. I guess that's a good example. Um... I'm trying to think. Hmm. Because there's a lot I just don't have a strong opinion on. Yeah. And the ones that stink, I imagine I just don't remember. It's one everyone really likes that I don't like. You know what's one that I like that a lot of people don't like? Mm. Oobla dee, oobla da. That one's okay. The piano tone's a little annoying. That's about it. it it's a goofy, goofy song, I'll admit, but it, it's, it's, it's like fun. Yeah, camera's dead. Oh, no! Uh, I know, right? Big uh, black void. Ashley's no, dead. You're dead. There we go. Isn't Hey Jude? Isn't Hey Jude like really long? Hey Jude is long. Yeah, I know. I know that kind of annoys me about that one. All right. Let's see. Zeno, Zeno, a hundred percent agree. I know that the entire band. We wanted to kill Paul McCartney for Maxwell Silver Hammer. But I like that song. I, it's stupid. <laughs> I, I, I love that song. Because it's so, it's so, it's one of those like juxtaposition songs where it sounds so fun, but it's about this guy murdering someone. A bunch of people. I do like Dear Prudence. Dear Prudence. It's a good song. Um. I, uh, I've always been a Beatles fan, but I became a really big, like, historian after, uh, I watched Peter Jackson's Get Back documentary, and it just made me very, very interested in Beatles history. You know, I don't know how people... Oh, it was in the middle of something. Maxwell? Yeah, it's just battery exhausted. Oh, yeah. I think uh, one song. I don't know if people really, really like this one, but I Me Mine. Yeah, that was uh, George Harrison had to fight for that one on the. Uh... Well, he shouldn't have because it stinks. <laughs> I remember actually in Get Bad, they talked about that. He saw that because he watched some like movie about like waltzing or something the night before, and he's like, I wrote it like a waltz. And they brought it in and they used it. It's not, that, like, it's, it's not particularly interestingly written, but also just everything sounds kind of yucky to me. I can't explain it. Ashley, we'll be back. Um, Seth one needs to cover some Queen songs. Yeah, Queen would be a fun would be fun to cover. I'm not doing Bohemian Rhapsody, and you can't. We're not doing me. Bohemian Rhapsody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm touching um, that one. 
10 out of 10 would actually die. Let's do Radio Gaga. Okay. Either that or like oh, Bicycle ooh. would be such a Griff song. Yeah. I think, honestly, what I think would be a really cool just in Sesame with Silas Killer Queen. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. That's one of my favorites of theirs. I'm with you on that one. Sam says, hey, you guys should do Bohemian Rhapsody. Hey, Sam, don't. <laughs> Sesamoid WAP. We could do, we could do wet ass pussy. I think we're going to give us a little bit of our Panic at the Disco fix, too. What's that one Lady Gaga song that's like, I want to take a ride on your disco stick? <laughs> we could do that uh, one. I forgot which one that was. Is the song literally called Disco Stick? I, could, I, don't, I, I could imagine I, I, that. I think it's called something else, but... <laughs> I remember that was the song that made my mother say I could never listen to Lady Gaga, and so I did. <laughs> Come on, baby. No All right, I gotta figure out it's what. It's called Love Game. Thank you, Chad. Okay, so I, I, Night of the Living Cookies. You say Sesamoid does Yellow Submarine. I no joke have an idea, and I'm gonna say it because I doubt it'll ever happen. I wanted to do a thing where the gang somehow gets drugged and we do an episode entirely in the style of Yellow Submarine and we do a parody cover of We All Live in a Papa Swirl Machine. And, <laughs> I'll do and, it, yeah. And, and instead of Blair, the Blue Meanie, it's the Blair Meanie. And it's like we do a whole basically Yellow Submarine homage. I love Yellow Submarine. I love that movie. Liverpool can be a very lonely place on a Saturday night, and it's only Thursday morning. <laughs> I've got a hole in my pocket. The dumbest thing ever makes me giggles. I've got a hole in me pocket. I've got a hole in me pocket. <laughs> he murdered. He sees his friend die, and then he's like, hmm, a hole <laughs> mine. That's why should cover Q-Bomb. That's our, uh... Q-Bomb is another cool Indiana Matter band. I don't think I've listened to him. That's Gene. Gene Goldstein. Too much alliteration in that name, I might say. I was going to say, they just get a name that rhymes and the rest of us just have to deal with things like <laughs> Hunter Bass? <laughs> they, the they, cre they created uh, the, pla the Planet Panic pilot uh, and they're running Jelly Box, but they have a uh, a really cool uh, band that he, he runs called uh, Q-Bomb. Gotcha. Ah. Ah. I return. Oh yeah, Actually, Jet I Ravine. had to get rid of my uh, camera because it ran out of power. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yeah. Do you want to set you up a little bird or something? Uh, I, I, if you want, you can. I, I'll grab. I I'll grab know. you a little bird guy and plop him in. Oh, I'm sorry, I, I forgot that uh, his stage name is Izzy Deluxe. That is correct, which is a cool stage name. Also, yeah, Adam, Jeremy, Hillary, Boob, Fud. What? Remember from yeah, Yellow I'm, I'm also confused. When, when they meet uh, the Nowhere Man, and his real name. Oh, okay. And instead of PhD, they say Jeremy, Hillary, Boop, Fud. Let's oh, that's some. right, yeah. Hunter, say some. Huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> <laughs> Hunter, say some. I'm just in the middle things. <laughs> Yeah. You get a little like crop out PNG. You perfectly picture. put him over <laughs> all of the notation. <laughs> like, like Hunter just put gets him to, at, Hunter put gets him to hang out head. next to me. Put him on my put him on my head. Oh no! Wait, I'll put him. Uh, I'll put him above the skull. Put him behind the fan art. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just be peeking out from behind the curtain. By the way, speaking of Hunter's Kingfisher uh, persona. Hunter has a little side project called Kingfisher, which Jacob, who is Griff, sings a song on. You should check it out. 
Yeah. Yeah, look up Kingfisher, uh, back by Kingfisher. Back by Kingfisher. It is. If I'm pop. ever just, if I, if I, but ser- if I'm ever just driving in my car with the window down, like for a while, it is an amazing song for that. Well, thanks, buddy. I appreciate that. Yeah. My avatar keeps popping every just speck I'm opening this can. Oh, Adam, I stole one of your liquid deaths. I hope you're okay with that. Thank you. What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> I like the peach ones a lot. They're good. I was saying earlier, you, you, I'm weak for peach. You you hated them before. I did. I like them now. I you know, I, I admittedly just kind of forced myself to like, this is palatable. It's fine. I, I feel like I can get used to it, and I did. Like, I'm trying to drink less sugary drinks. I had, to, I had a horrendous vitamin water addiction. I think we're basically an entirely sugar-free house at this point. Yep. Aside from we get like boys and your sugary snacks. No, we get treats. Oh, yeah, so everyone else in the house. <laughs> Here, uh, the drinks yeah, wise, though, we're all sugar-free. Mm. Mm. Well, liquid death isn't sugar-free. Just very low sugar. Your chat. I'm gonna put in the chat under the farfetch thing. This is Hunter and Jacob's song back. You'll actually get to see. Jacob himself, who pl- voices Griff, is in the video. You'll get to see what he looks like. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, he did a whole, like... Yeah. He went out into the middle of the woods and we, laid we down found, on his yeah. bag. <laughs> Adam, we, found, we, found, we found him in a creek. Adam actually edited the video. <laughs> yeah, did a great job of Adam's it, Adam's an incredible video editor. Thank you. Also, well, I agree. Well. Instead of O Ashley, let's start O Adam. Yep, I'm here for it. Oh, Adam. <laughs> it's begun. Oh, come on, Hunter! You said you'd want. You said you were here for it. <laughs> yeah, Let's hear Hunter. it. Actually, is it oh, Adam? Adam. <laughs> oh God! There you go. There you go. I want to do ah, yeah. Adam. I, uh, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> the Adam jump scare. <laughs> did they find? Uh, did they find Griff in a creek? This is basically yeah how they found Griff. Yeah. This is how Jacob is lying down. Mm-hmm. In the video. Question for the creators here: Do we want to do the vamp all the way for the full five minutes at the end here? What is a vamp? Because basically, vamp is just like they they repeat a section of the music over oh, and over okay. and, until the song's over. But they do it for like a solid mm, forty five seconds to. Yeah, 30 to 45 seconds of just the riff over and over at the end. And there's the occasional like lead that kind of repeats itself. Yeah, we were talking of... about just doing like maybe like a hard stop about like half the time they do it in the original. Yeah, I say we make it a bit more concise. So it can go down from like five minutes, 10 seconds to like 440 or something. Okay, yeah. Because also having more of a hard stop ending could be interesting, I think. Yeah, so we'll, do totally. it, we'll do it. We'll do it a couple times instead of like five thousand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That yeah. was kind of just like where I was at. I was just like, okay, if we, I get it. It's part of the experience, but uh, at the same time, this would be an opportunity to not only like save ourselves a little bit of unnecessary fat at the end, but also just kind of find a different way to stop it, end it. You know, make it unique. That kind of thing. Cool. Uh, we'll try to cut it around there. I noticed one thing in watching the back music video again. Huh. Because when Jacob's lying in the creek, there's one like drop of water just below his nipple. <laughs> 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 That's good. All right. So that covers most of the rhythm guitar and bass, I think. Hell yeah, dude. Nice. It's obviously Knocked some it editing to go back and do, but yeah. Definitely do we want Do we want to give it a listen through? Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Let's listen. All right, you believe you it's go. been three and a half hours? Oh my god. <laughs> it's easy it, when I don't, I don't have to be the primary entertainer. Thank you, Hunter. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Uh, sure. I was going to say, like, when you're like hyper-focused in a DEW, it, like, for me it feels like maybe four or five hours has passed. But yeah, it's, oh, yeah, it's been three and a half. Or oh, sorry, what were you saying, Adam? I was I was just agreeing with you. Oh, here. okay. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, here's here's don't fear the peeper.
thing it does go on for a while. <laughs> Dude, this is after I cut it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe we can make that a little more concise. <laughs> I'm, th I'm thinking it could end on like um one of them like, like that. that. I was thinking actually, da 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 da. And it kind of like lifts a little bit. Oh, okay. So kind of just like feathers off at the end. Yeah. Da, da, de, da, da, da. Okay. 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 Yeah, yeah, there you go. There you go, chat. Sounding excellent so far, Hunter. Good yeah. job. And now, chat, this, this is just the early version. Keep yeah, in mind. this is going to wildly change. Like, this is going to sound like it was made on GarageBand by an eight-year-old once it gets all the way through the pipeline. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um and uh obviously we got to put Jacob's vocals in. These are these are just a whole step down of the original isolated vocals. Yeah. We're going to put Jacob's in and then Brett's going to work his Whenever Brett takes Hunter's stuff and works his magic, it gets transformed completely. So. Yeah, it's, it's, it's I, I refer magic. to it as the Brett machine. Like, something goes in, but something completely different comes out, and it's always, always a million times better. He's very, so, yeah. very good. Yeah. Um, anyway. All right. Yeah. Well, Should there that we be go. The end of stream, then? I mean, we, we've been uh, going for... At least for... this one. I think uh, yeah. what I'd like to do is take some time, probably like the next week or so, to uh, kind of get together or make all the little changes I want to. Just like some places I can definitely tell I recorded the bass poorly. I'm going to fix those, do a lot of editing, and then we'll probably make the second stream about adding the leads and solos and stuff like that. Hell yeah. Yeah. Well, well, we'll that... do that again soon. Yes, thank you all for coming by and, and, and trying out this music stream. Glad it worked out. Yeah, thank you so much, everybody, for joining and everybody who donated. And Hunter, Dave, Adam, thank you guys so much for being here yeah. as well. And yeah, we will be back. Uh, yeah, if you want to tag us in any fan art, uh, tag or use the hashtag on Twitter, uh, hashtag Farfetch Show. Uh, and send us in all of your awesome fan art, and who knows, maybe you'll get featured in the little stream slideshow for the next stream. But yeah, everybody take care. Uh, be sure to look at the links below to follow us everywhere, and check, a, check us out. Uh, Dave, Adam Hunter, you guys want to plug yourselves anywhere? Um, yeah, I guess, like, find me on Twitter. I, I'm, I'm out there at, uh, let's see, yeah. I think it's... Yeah, if you don't mind, throw me in there. I'm going to the throw chat. both you and Hunter in the chat. I mean, you and Hunter? You yeah. and Adam, sorry. I'm being thrown into the chat. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I just disconnected. I can only talk in chat. <laughs> Here, guys, this is uh, on Twitter. This is Hunter. And then... Cumbler. Cumbler bass. Oh, thank you. Have you ever thought of legally changing your last name to bass? <laughs> you just have to pronounce it different yeah i was gonna say like what i what it's i straight up do is i just let people pronounce it however they want and i go with it but if somebody <laughs> actually does say bass i'm just like congrats you're one of the few people who are secretly right <laughs> do i need to put yours in ashley that, no they know me they know where to find okay. me yeah. Fucking oh yeah that's and that's three i'm seeing a few comments on kingfisher back hey Yay! Awesome. yeah Thank you for checking it out, everybody. Yeah, appreciate y'all. Thank you so much. Yeah, definitely go check out uh, Kingfisher back. I've it got more eventually coming eventually, song. but Sesamoid's really been taking precedent lately. Got a so got a lot in the pipeline. No, I'm no, sorry. please don't. I, it's 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 a B project. You know what I mean? You fill your off time with it. Yeah, you fair. do it at your leisure. You know, and honestly, like, dude. So someone's fixing to pop off with some of the stuff we've got coming down the line. So I'm, like, I'm really uh, excited for what I'm we got. I'm thrilled I get to focus on Sesamoid. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am yeah. honored. Thank you. All right. Well, it's time for us to die. Oh, goodbye, everybody. Have a great night. We will be back soon.